we're live. We're live. No one's here yet because nobody knows we're doing this. <laughs> oh, there's one more. There's one person. Hello. I talk to myself on these until people start joining. One person. People will start joining in a minute. They, it's to a total surprise. Oh, he's rising. He's rising. Is there any more people yet? Well, I'll tell you. It usually takes like one or two minutes and all of a sudden blasto. They blast. Here comes Frosty. He's is rising. There one person? Yeah, that's what it look. Oh, there's three magically suddenly. Hello, three people. Hello, three kind people. We are watching Frosty just rise up right now. Look at that. That's a hello, Austin. Hello, Mason. Is oh, yet? 14. 14? Yeah. 14. Hello, Liam. How many is there now? <laughs> Seven. So Frosty is 18 feet tall, guys. Hello, Terror. Nice to see you again. And hi, super awesome Aaron. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's there's a lot. Look at how big. He's just giant. And I can't zoom out with this phone. So uh, yeah, it doesn't let me like uh, zoom super out. So oh, yeah, they're popping each other's heads off like Poppy or Huggy Wuggy. Sweet. Oh, I forgot I have to change the title of that video to Poppy Playtime. Not poppies. Nice to see you too, Terror. Hello. We're about to blast out a whole bunch of inflatables and stuff in our yard. We got the Nutcracker over here. Shall we put his music on? Okay, wait. These guys are like almost twins. Yeah. Well, hi there, Robert. We just started. You haven't missed a thing. We've got so much Christmas stuff in here we're putting away. We got our tree ready, guys. We just have a new star to put on the top. There's our dancing Santa. We could probably bring him out to dance for everybody. There's Max's proud deer. He is just, he just loves it. Well, hi, Jaden. What inflatable do you have? I'm just, look at how many, we, these boxes are still full. We're just still putting stuff out and yeah. Yeah, we love Halloween too, but we we really do love Christmas because it's quite jolly. It's just a jolly time. And look guys, we got these inflatables that we need to unbox <laughs> this weekend. We were aiming to do it this weekend. So either today or tomorrow, we got the Jack and the little, look at Zero, he's got antlers. He's a Rudolph and this is what I'm really excited for. Whoo! Can't wait. I can't wait. And then look, guys. <gasps> look what's here. This this is just so exciting. I'm so excited we got him. Um, yeah, we unboxed our the Nutcracker inflatable. We got one out there, and then we un we just unboxed that Nutcracker, um, the tall Nutcracker that plays music and has the blinking LCD eyes. We've got him outside. I kind of want to bring Jack out. I think we should. Oh, you got it yesterday, Tara? That's awesome. Yay, Liam. Christmas is fun. I love all the holidays. I just love a holiday. Good old holiday time. You know, Hanukkah's great. Kwan's is great. Festivus, whatever. It's all just fabulous. I just love jolly times and decorating and giving people presents. It's so fun. Hello, Charles in Brussels. Oh, you have a 30-foot inflatable, Robert? That, guess what? Robert has a 30-foot inflatable. Dude, it's like the one I showed you on on uh, my phone that was bigger. Remember, the ish? you could see? Yeah, it was rising above the trees. Remember that? It was like rising up above the tree. You could see it above the trees. That inflatable I showed you, that was huge. Yeah. Oh my heck, yes. It would be as tall as Al's tree. And. What about that tree? Yeah. Yeah, yeah probably because. Is it as big as that tree right there? No, not quite. Maybe the smaller one. Yeah, it's actually almost two Frosties. Two. It would take almost two Frosties. So what kind of blower does yeah. it have on that? I know. What kind of Papa. blower does that have, Robert? Wait, Mommy. That's great. Remember that Santa that was. Yes, was that, that was 30 feet. Was it big as that? 
Yeah, it was 30 feet. So that's probably, Daddy says, a little bit taller than 30 feet. That if, big pine tree is more like 30 feet. Yeah, if you can imagine, if we put another Frosty on top of his head, but only up to the neck, that's how tall 30 feet is. Yeah, he would actually be bigger than Al's tree, I bet. Yeah, that is huge. Oh, the inflatable nutcracker. Yes. Oh, is this, a, hey, say please, mother. Do you mean this nutcracker, sir? Is this the one? Mommy. This one's cool, it's like velvety. Give it to Papa. No, no, no! Yeah, this is, uh, we've got, well, here's our other nutcracker. This is the inflatable one we have. I really want the 12 foot, the 12 foot one from Home Depot with the little tiny lights on it. Yeah, the one at Home Depot, it was like the one you wanted at home, but bigger and kind of cooler too, because it's got that velvet and everything. Will you blow up this ring for Max? He wants to play inflatable ring toss. Let's see what Mason says. You have a, a snowman and a Santa a tree, an inflatable Christmas tree. Oh, that's awesome, Mason. That's very cool. You have um, a 10-foot Santa. That's so cool, too. We have a 12-foot one here that we're going to be putting up. I've got, like, these are the biggest ones here I've got ready to put next to Frosty. Um, but we also are getting that giant Rudolph, the 15-foot Rudolph. It will be here by f next Friday at the latest. I already ordered it. Hi, Lego Trolls. What's up? Hi, Robert. You're so nice. Thank you so much. Oh, Austin. Yeah, the one from Big Lots. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Max is playing wing toss. And then guess what's in this box, guys? You could probably guess by the writing on it animated santa what animated santa what could that be i let's see if any of you know have, yeah yeah did any of you see our video from last year unboxing this guy we got him last year he is an inflatable but he is an animated inflatable and he has plastic components and metal yes he waves he waves and we'll be unboxing real you know, getting him out and putting him up soon in a minute. Yeah, he was a big hit. So I'm gonna, um, I'll probably pass the phone off to Papa real quick, and I'm gonna bring out the Jack and the Sant Dancing Santa so we can have some animatronics just partying over here. Snowy too. Snowy? Which one's Snowy? Your, is it your little snowman that dances? No, we, neither of us know what you're talking about. Then no. <clears throat> you can get it. No. Is it a snowman? Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to be putting up these bad boys. And I'll go get a couple of things. And here, I'm going to pass the phone to Papa. Because he is a much, he is a much uh, better talker than me. <laughs> what up? Walmart's oh, out of inflatables. Is it okay? We haven't, we didn't really look at Walmart this year. I don't know. I've, look, we just had an accident. Okay, the only, the only problem I got with uh, the Home Depot decorations like this and that and the Nutcracker, that guy, they don't have anywhere to tie them down. So, hello, Terror. So, if, uh, bad weather comes through like what happens you know other than that they're really cool I, I'm gonna bring out people. they put inflatable gingerbread man we don't have any gingerbread man we wanted one where'd you get that from <laughs> what 24 7.5 foot Grinch nice we don't have any, we have uh, one Grinch one we need to unbox, but it's definitely not a seven and a half footer. Gonna play a little ring toss on the little dearie's head. Hello, and here's the man, Let's see? If you watch this video, I think it was last year we got this guy. 
you have the six foot Jack. Is he the Santa, like the Christmas one? Or the Halloween? Whoa. 340 Christmas inflatables. That's, that's really impressive. <laughs> that's a lot more than we have. eBay, all for the gingerbread. I'll have to check it out. That's one of the kind of Christmassy things. We don't have much of that kind of stuff. But we have a pretty, a few nutcrackers, a few Santas, there's a lot of snowmen. Nice, thanks Elizabeth. That's awesome. Today's, I don't know where y'all are, but today's a nice day and we're trying to get some work done before it turns bad. We got a Rudolph Santa sleigh. Uh, we do have an elf on the shelf inflatable. Um, that he'll probably go right in here somewhere again, like last year. It's just a little like four foot one we have. And he's like sitting on a present kind of thing, I, I believe. We'll probably put a bunch of like minis like in that planter and this planter box. So, we'll see. You have a 40 year old Santa and snowman inflatable and they're still running. That's pretty impressive too. We can't seem to, after a couple years, they decide to, decide to crap out on us sometimes. Sometimes you can repair them, but sometimes it's not worth it. This is Max's little special deer he was had to have from at home. Yes, that is the animated Santa Claus sings and dances to us. He's jolly. Very jolly. We'll have to plug him in here in a second and get him going. You have the elf on the Shelf book, the, the one from the, oh, okay. The huge frosty, this one? That one I assume, right? I believe it was from that Hemmicker, Hemmicker Schlemler, however you say it. It's like a catalog gift. They kind of have a catalog. Um, Julie found it online. And that, that's where it's from. And we've been getting catalogs from them. They actually have some pretty cool stuff, like decorations wise. Um, they have other, they had, they had some, was it Hammaker Schlemler? How? Yeah, they, they had to also had a, for Halloween, they had a 20 foot cat this year in it and stuff. So they have a couple big ones. And this thing is like, the most legit, like, if, it's hard to explain the material. Well, the material is just solid. It's like a, feels like a tent, like uh, if you're camping. You know, like the, the material is really thick and really, it's like a commercial compared to like what's traditionally used on the inflatables is a lot thinner. That's like super thick. And check this out. See where you tether it? See all that stitching? It's super like heavy duty. I think it's like, see there's another one up there. Um, super like heavy duty, like almost like commercial use, but it's really nice. You know, I don't expect it survived some pretty gnarly uh, winter storms and all that. We get come through here sometimes, so. You have 17 Christmas inflatables. That's great. We don't have ne nearly as many. I don't know exactly how many we have for Christmas, but it's it's not nearly as many as we have for Halloween. But it's a lot. So we're still picking and choosing which ones. What? 
Five storage buildings full of Christmas. Do we have a Grinch inflatable? Uh, no, we have to unbox one. I don't know. Just the other little one, a little one. We were gonna, thinking about getting that huge one also, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. Like the 15 or 16 foot one. I think we opted for the Rudolph instead. We're doing great, Kenzie. How you doing? Just having a lovely Saturday, setting up some Christmas decorations. You have three new inflatables. Yeah, sometimes you gotta pick and choose. And it's 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 more fun to change it up every year. Shivery's still out for the count, so this next week we're gonna we're gonna repair him. I think we're gonna have a little inflatable doctor show up. You might recognize him. <laughs> and we'll shoot a little video, I think, this upcoming week. We're just trying to do this early on, so before the snow comes, because it'll happen here sooner or later, and then we get like feet of snow. So, and this right here, I don't know if all this is going to stay. This is just kind of what Max wanted to do for now. And him and his mom both changed their minds at least a few times before it's all set and all done. So, this may change. I'm sure we'll put, like, tall, big ones back here. Oh, you're in, are you in Michigan? Am I in Michigan? That's pretty gnarly weather. I know some people that uh, live in Chicago, and that's pretty gnarly back in like the Midwest and the East Coast and stuff. Right today is beautiful. Like look at these skies. Now, granted, we're gonna be in a drought next year because of this, but because we should have had snow. Thanks, Kinsey. Yeah, we should have had snow by now, but so we'll probably be in a drought again. Again next year. It's unfortunate, but. Oh, now look who joined the party. I don't know if you saw the video. Uh, I think it just um, went up this morning. Or very recently, but that guy is super cool. The animated Jack. He was a Walmart this year, it's crazy. He's really cool. Not too many choices for um, any kind of animated stuff for Christmas. So when we find it, we have to take advantage of it. You know? <laughs> it would be so cute they have like little elves, animatronic elves. Yeah. Know? There's so many possibilities, but I mean, I don't know why it's very marketable. You know, someone will make a lot of money. If anyone has the money, do it. Get that idea right now and I'll make them. do I'll it. Make some and sell them at the fair or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that. Anyone else able to pick up that uh, Sandy Claus, the Christmas Jack? We kind of stumbled upon him and found him for a good price. He's been sold out in stores, so... Guess what? Got Davion. super. Davion told me about it, and I forgot. Mm -hmm. I was like, really? What? I thought he meant like animatronic, like little things. Yeah. So basically, it's almost the same as the oh, Halloween oh. one. Uh, you might have saw that in summer. You might all have some of the Halloween Jack, but it doesn't play music. He he talks, so there's no music, and it's really oh. cool. Oh, kind of moves the same as the Halloween one. So it's kind of a reskin, but it's really cool. For the price, Walmart was selling them at like pretty cheap too, like $150 on the box. So that was a great. They got a Jack stocking with his head. What? At home? Dang, that would be cool. 
We just went to at home and it's, they sold so much stuff there. It's like they didn't have much stuff left. Now really quickly, like I was just telling Julie and Max this, like unfortunately, like, like the Nutcracker here and maybe not Jack so much, but the deers, you might've been here and we were just talked about this. Nowhere to tie them down. Oh, look at that, cute. It's a Christmas elf. Hey, Jaden. Yeah, nowhere to tie anything down. It's like, how many of these do you want to like put indoors all year? Like, we want to show it off too, you know. But so unless we like tie tethers around it somewhere and tie it down, it will probably blow over if we get any kind of wind. Unfortunately. Hey, Jimmy Collector. Hi, Alexander. Hi, Jaden. Yeah, the animatronic Jack. We were lucky to get him, I think, on eBay. And was did you end up getting him on eBay or something? Macari? Yeah. eBay. eBay. Not even much more than he was from the store. Well, actually, that's what I saw. I thought he was one ninety nine. Yeah. That's what they were. At Walmart, he was one forty nine. I paid two twenty. So seventy dollars. Which is kind of a lot, but I guess that's what you pay when you get it aftermarket. <laughs> Everybody who collects inflatables or animatronics throughout the year knows that there's always a on, a tax you gotta pay for stuff that's popular. I was just searching for the Grinch. Mm -hmm. I was gonna get the animated Grinch, guys. I like wanted that dancing animated Grinch so bad, so I was looking for him and seeing where I could get him at. Through Home Depot, by the way, if you'd like. He's being sold through Home Depot. But anyway, all of a sudden, eBay says suggested, other suggested things you might like. And out pops Jack Skellington as Santa. I almost fainted. I almost fell right out of my chair. I was like, seriously, I was like, what? Am I dreaming? Is this an old one or something? <laughs> What happened to Max's elf hat on his elf? On his little... Uh, yeah, it, it comes off. He doesn't like it. Yeah, it, it comes off and he, he, I don't know, he just likes it off. Robert Pollock says he likes... No, I think it's... Look! I think it's, um, it's a purple light. Hey, Max. Yeah, it's one of my, my replacements of that. Purple one. Uh, Robert says he likes Unspeakable also. So do I. That's Max's probably favorite. Well, the thing about those is, it's very thin glass. He watches it's it's a lot. <laughs> it was six foot oh, yeah. inflatable oh, snowman 2019 it's vision. So if you accidentally and a Santa 2020. Nice. It's crazy, they can, they'll release the same things. And we'll show you some comparisons, but every year, like, they, they change, like, they'll release another snowman. It's, uh, they're always a little bit different. So, you some of you kids are collectors, and you know that, like, they change stuff over the years. So, it's kind of cool to have different years and different versions of yes, the same worried. thing. Mason says, Max, tell Max that Christmas is in 28 days. What? Yep. We only have 28 days till Christmas. That's four weeks. Christmas is almost here. Oh, wow. That's like mm -hmm. a book here. That is an art piece. That is an art piece. Yeah, that means you get to start the advent calendars here in like a couple days. You got a Jack Skellington inflatable Christmas one? Nice. You're going to move to Texas? For why? You just like Texas? For the weather? For what? Yeah, oh man. 
So yeah, we kept popping the, and I, what I have is in the garage. Like I have, they're all on like safe outlets anyway. I don't know if some of you understand with that, but I also have surge protectors and it would just pop the surge. That means it's using too much power. It was crazy. <laughs> Should have seen Halloween. We did the same thing a lot. <laughs> I got it pretty much dialed in how much we can do. Hi, Michael. Jackson Roblox Gaming. You got a giant candy cane outside your house? Like how giant? Like 12 foot? Eight foot, ten foot, five foot. Anything over six inches for a candy cane is pretty large. Look at this. We got a couple of random ones. Max is deciding where he's gonna put all these, so he kind of just sets them where he wants them for now. Yep. I'm doing the talking today, I suppose, because they said they were gonna set up stuff. Hey, Max. Yes. Evan says hi. Hi. <laughs> you have a real Christmas tree? Oh, those smell lovely, huh? Make sure you keep water in it or else they start to dry out pretty quick and then you have little pricklies all over. Oh, a 12-foot candy cane? Evan has a 12-foot candy cane. What? That thing's huge. Uh, What's his... Evan, his name's Evan. Christmas inflatables is the best part. Yes, it is. And as soon as we set this up, we're gonna go. There's a lot of like houses we want to go see too. There's, there's people get pretty serious for Christmas as they do for Halloween. <laughs> Very jolly. Max Mason has a nine foot snowman. Nine foot and Santa in the army. Oh, you got the army suit, Santa? Nice. I think Julie was looking at that kind of. Or they saw it somewhere. You're gonna upload your yeah, we'll check it out. Put a put a link in the comments or put a write it out in the comments so everybody can check it out. You know what I mean? We have an animated singing, dancing Santa that's 20 years old. Wow, that's like the original. Is it that, is it Liam, is that, that's not your real name, is it? I, I remember from Halloween, I think, but I can't remember, I'm sorry. Yeah, we might get into the fish tank. Man, we had to like, uh, get rid of one of our fish tanks and I'll tell you why anyone who has fish knows this or maybe experienced this we had a little outbreak of mosquitoes they were like laying eggs in one in our open tank with the frogs and stuff so we had to like the only way to get rid of them was really to take the tank out and like we got to let it dry it out for a while because most mosquito eggs don't go away your tree is 7.8 feet. That's big. That's a good size. All right. See you, Robert. Have fun. We might do get to some lights too, but what we want to do is the icicle lights along all like those. So, oh, here he is. I don't know if you guys watched the video. It's up now. But here's a little and Santa. Yeah, I think it's is it your brother? Yeah. Okay. You and your brother have two different accounts, right? I just remembered what this is. it's Arctic's Christmas suit. So when you drive in the sleigh with him. Next on my list. Come on, Kiro. They're becoming friends. Merry oh, is it the, the huge um, snowman head? It's like just the head part, right? Just like a round, huge 10 or 12 footer. Um, 
the 20 foot nutcracker inflatable not this year i don't think we are getting we did a poll i don't know for what huge inflatable to get this year and i think it turned out we're gonna get rudolph so he is on his way probably a week or so being shipped but he's like how big is that rudolph he was like pretty big julie Rudolph was what, 15, 16 feet tall? Yeah, that, he's 15. Yeah, and so. Tell him his nose blinks. And he's animated, guys. He turns his head from side to side like this. Yeah, so that's pretty good for a, a big inflatable to move. That's pretty impressive. We'll see how. We'll unbox it and do all that. You know. You know the drill. We'll do. We'll do it. But I don't, I don't know if, um, what other big ones we're going to get. It kind of like, oh, you broke your arm? Oh, jeez. Don't do that. Safety first. Always safety first. But, yeah, I don't know what other big ones. Like, right at this point of the year, it's kind of like, if we can find one for a good deal or something pops up really good, then we'll get it, but... We're kind of set because you know how it goes. Like, I got to start buying all my family's Christmas gifts and, uh, you know. Yeah, Liam, I remember now. You and your brother, I get confused because I see it. It's like, oh, it looks almost the same on here. You got a cut on your foot too. Safety first, everybody. Safety first getting hurt's no fun i don't want to see anybody get hurt everybody needs to have a fun jolly christmas season oh man yeah you can get really hurt i'm glad you're okay though but it's a good lesson to learn right it's all fun and games till someone breaks their arm right <laughs> See, they're going to get some of the baby inflatables for these, that area. And you notice the minion blow mold? That was Jemmy from last year. Was this Jemmy last year? You have a chili snowman and nom nom pingy. Those are really cool. We, um, oh, what was the chili one from Home Depot we didn't get? Or was he a nom nom? Home Depot got a beaver. Is it the beaver nom nom? I can't remember. Weird is there too. We go to so many places, I forget. But I think we will probably get the Home Depot one. You're eight, Jaden? Oh, nice. Getting older. Oh, the Nom Nom penguin from 2019 at Lowe's. Yeah, we got the Nom Nom from Lowe's. Is he the one eating the fish? Yeah, we got that one. Where's the other Nom Nom? Where's the other Nom Nom this year? Do you know? Be here oh. tomorrow maybe or monday it is the little bear with the cupcake okay the bear with the cupcake he's come in. He's the nom noms and shiveries are really cool i love all the shiveries and all the nom noms i can't wait to see cupcake bear he's gonna be nom best nom. friends with Kenny and Chippy. yeah we're gonna oh, have snowdy she's she's a trooper that uh the little snowdy um i don't know if you guys remember from last year a little like cheerleader snowman that like sh like uh kind of shakes she's not a shaky but what does she kind of do she kind of like yeah that that freaking thing would be just rocking out in the middle of a snowstorm partying like it's <laughs> yeah it just keeps going it was great she was she was a trooper. 
because we get pretty bad snow here. I'm sure you guys have seen some of that. We're just like pretty dry right now, so. The penguin helicopter, yeah, that's cool. One thing we don't really have is too much like, um, what else was there? There was like an airplane one, there's like an RV inflatable Christmas ones. There's, we don't have anything like that. I don't know why, we've just never, haven't got to it. <laughs> Saxophone snowman inflatable, that's cool. We'll try to go in here a little bit. Um, cheerleader snowman released in two. Yeah, that's probably when it is. We got it after market, probably eBay or something for a good price, a year or two ago. But Snowdy's cool. Oh, you're gonna go to Fresno, California. That would be really nice. <laughs> a little jealous. Not gonna lie. That'll be fun. The cold weather's cool for a minute until you have to go out in it for too long and then you're like, well, this ain't so great, right? As soon as you're done with the sledding, time to go in for the hot chocolate. Oh my heck, we totally, we haven't made it to Big Lots either. I don't know if we missed out on the good stuff. It's all coming so fast this year. You know what I mean? Look, rain or shine, the post office. All right, see you later, Michael Jackson. What are we setting up next? I am going to put up the hot air Santa. I'm going to Ooh. put this on the stairs and then... You ready for Spear Halloween next year? Yeah, dude. Like, they had, they had a Black Friday sale. I don't know if it was that great this year. If you want to buy stuff for Spirit right now. Which... Maybe that's what you want for Christmas. I don't know if, how great it was. It seemed like it was just free shipping. Not super impressive, but, but I'm pretty stoked. I can't wait to see what their collection's gonna be. Ooh. No, we don't have any goldfish right now it's mostly like julie knows where they're at they're like guppies and hello mason 12 skeleton is stuffed in a corner in the basement they're very space they eat up a lot of space <laughs> even when they're taken apart i went and got the biggest tubs that i could get put what I could in there and then put the rest of the parts like I got a whole spot designated for them in the basement but at Home Depot they did you can get like um, um, different outfits for those skeletons so you can get like a Santa Claus one and stuff if, any, if anyone's interested in setting that up for Christmas that'd be kind of cool but I don't believe we're gonna do that this year Max's dragon, which which dragon? His Arctic dragon? His Arctic dragon, his head wasn't moving. Is that what you're talking about? Sorry. Two elves on the shelf? Nice. We have a little elf on the shelf in the house. 
that runs around with two little tiny, like, little baby ones. No, we don't have a sound box inflatable. That's a good idea, though. We got this little, I guess this little guy counts, right? Is that what I'm talking about? Little... Supposed to be like a jack-in-the-box type thing. Let's see? It kind of pops up, and this is like the little handle you would turn it is that what you mean you guys got the nutcracker yeah i think you're the one who brought it up and i told julius is we got to get this like they're talking about uh like the nutcracker with the eyes the led and stuff Oh no, we don't have one that plays music. Thanks, Kaden. It's a little bit of work. Yeah, I mean, we'll do it for a few hours. I mean, some people want to throw them up in one day, but we usually stretch it out. Because we get busy and then come back to it. But this right here is not going to be the same. I can tell you that right now because Julie and Max are always changing their minds. <sighs> hey, you're back, Michael Jackson, Roblox Gaming. Yeah, the minion blow mode's cool. I think it was Jimmy last year or the year before. Sent us some like minions Christmas stuff. It's really cool. Those little blow modes are so fun. We're getting a pretty sizable little start to our collection on those. And those and like the door greeters too. They're pretty. Oh, it's snowing. That is not great. Hope you stay warm and safe. Max, I think, is going to eat really quick. What? Are you serious? That's not cool. They ripped the fabric on it? Yeah, setting up displays Christmas and Halloween. Y'all know how that goes. And they take a lot of very time consuming. Thanks, Liam. Thanks, Kaden. Glad we can make you guys happy. That's the whole point, right? This guy, man. I just can't get over like these giant inflatables. Anyone who has giants knows when you're standing next to them, they're even bigger. Oh, it's so super worth it. You have a seven and a half foot kaleidoscope penguin. The kaleidoscope lights in any of these inflatables makes them awesome. I'll tell you that right now. Anything like that at night makes it so much cooler. This year we got one of those little, can't, we're not gonna be able to see it for a long time now, but one of these lights. And it shines like the whole house looks like has like the dots all over it, like the Christmas. Really cool. We do watch AA Productions. Yeah, they're they're cool. Like Julie's message back and forth with them before, and they're really nice. They do a good job too. I like them. Oh. Reindeer blow molds are awesome. Yeah, I really like blow molds. Blow molds are like cool, but at night they're really cool, right? Like when they like are lit up and they come to life, kind of. We have we have some wandering around here. Yeah, the twelve foot skelly with the Santa costumes, cool. Home Depot had that, and they, they had a couple different outfits you could buy for them. 
sure you could make your own too, but they had like, what other outfits did 12 foot Skelly have? Do you know? It was like Chris. He's Santa and Wizard. That's what it was, yeah. We didn't get any of those. But that would be cool. Like, there are people that we know from some of the Halloween groups around here that use their 12 foot Skellies all year round. They just redecorate them for <laughs> everything, you know? It's a good idea because they're kind of a pain to store, but. They're very big, a lot of pieces. Here's the 12 foot Santa. He's huge. We try to stick with the higher end, but it, um, if something's cool enough, it's cool enough. You know what I mean? I'm not like picky, like it's gotta be the highest end stuff. We go by what we like. Some stuff, like how there's a couple inflatables, like we just, don't inflatable companies we just don't like because they're super cheap but uh, it's that's easy we just don't buy their stuff but it's not it's not most most inflatables are decent someday we'll hopefully get to traveling a little bit next year hopefully you know trying to get through this panoramic pandemic going on Yes, we're ready. This is another biggie. I think it's a 12 foot Santa. 12 foot, is that a, This is one a big boy, yeah. Is that the 12 foot one? Yeah, the 12 foot Santa with the bear. I think that's last year or the year before. Home Depot. Yeah, that's what I was telling them. Like that's when they re-release them, they always they're always a little bit different. Yeah. How much are we gonna put outside? Uh, quite a bit. I mean, it'll be pretty pretty big. Probably close to what we had for Halloween. All in all, you know, give or take. Because you can see, like got the cord like you can't hardly see it right there but see the cord it's ready and then it's back and this these cord these black cords are awesome because they have a plug every like five feet all the way see all the way around yeah, I'm, gonna get a, I'm gonna get like two more i think because they're just great just use those you know yeah so anybody that sets up a lot of displays Where'd you get that? Amazon or something? Yeah. Yeah, and it's real heavy duty and they have a plug every five feet. So it just works out like... Uh-oh, Santa's suffering from a little bit of an issue. Seven and a half Mickey and... Oh, nice. We don't even have any uh, Mickey and Minnie. We always mean to get Mickey and Minnie uh, inflatables. We haven't. Dun dun dun. Yeah. There's always that brand you might not like, but they have something different that's really cool. <laughs> that's a thing, you know. And you just have to okay. Go with it. We have some like that too. It's like we really like Goosh brand, but all their stuff's not great. <laughs> that's for sure. But it's like a lot of it's different and really cool. And then there's more lower end stuff than that. It's... Yeah, Santa's, he's, he's like, man, it's so hot out here. I just, I can't do this. See you later, Michael Jackson, Roblox Gaming. Good seeing you too. Max is going to go see if Cam's home, his little buddy. Because okay. he wants him to help him do the display. Yeah, we'll try to get in. We're going to try to keep an eye on the business out here right now. OK. 
because it gets dark so early. I mean, geez, we probably really only have three more hours before dark to seven Christmas inflatable. That's a really good start. That's a good. See, I'm like, good. Santa, he's so big. And then when you come over here and you're like, oh, whoa. Yeah, like that go the 12 foot compared to the 18 foot. <laughs> Yeah, that's the this teddy bear is cool. It's like getting two inflatables in one. <laughs> and actually at Home Depot they do have a two inflatable set. Uh, yeah, they've got new sets. Yeah. yeah, it's a jack and a zero, two inflatables in one box set. They had another one that had two in it too. I can't remember. It was like Grinch and that. Which is cool, you pay a little bit more, but I mean, you get two inflatables, really. Okay, so when we get Rudolph, I'll probably, you could even put Rudolph just behind these guys right there. In the yeah, water. right where that little wiener dog is. Okay. Rudolph's yeah. kind of, I won't get too crazy with tethering. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, there is no such thing as too many inflatables, <laughs> right? <laughs> There's no such thing. And anywhere in between, too much and too little is great. All right, here's another big daddy. Inflatables are great, too, because they are they don't take up much space to store, right? I mean, deflate them and put them in a box, you know? You this can. blows up so fast. Yeah, okay, this is the Santa from Walmart, I believe, a couple years ago. But that was one of our very, f yeah. one of our first Christmas 12 footers for sure. Remember we got it at Walmart and you weren't sure. And then um, you decided, yeah, let's get it. And then we went back and they were all sold out. Yeah. They went crazy and it's really cool. It's a hot air balloon. I don't know if you guys have seen it on our other videos, but it's cool. And it's pretty big and he's the big jolly round guy. They have had a couple different versions of this also throughout the years, a few times. See? How roly poly in that, and yeah, he's a fatty. He's a roly poly Santa. Hi, Kristen. But the little snowman in, in like the, whatever it's called, the little, is really cool. <laughs> Max's baby. Yeah. No, we don't have any for sale. Usually we, <laughs> if we, uh, occasionally from time to time, we'll, we'll uh, do giveaways. Tell them what we're gonna um, be doing and like. yeah, we're gonna donate a couple to uh, a, yeah. So guys, there's this charity here in Salt here, Lake City. If you want to like stand to yeah, the side or something. Um, there's a charity here in Salt Lake called Elora's Lights. And it's a fundraiser for pediatric cancer. And it was started by this little girl's parents. I think she was like Max's age and she passed away from cancer a couple years ago, I think three years ago. And so for her memory, they and all their friends and neighbors got all these inflatables because she loved inflatables and they decorate the whole park like the park by their house um, like the whole front lawn they all get together and there's over 200 inflatables Jemmy donated so they got a bunch from Jemmy and uh, yeah over 200 inflatables they got lights and stuff too but um, and then they have donations you know whoever wants to donate for pediatric cancer they donate everything so we're gonna go, I was just talking to her dad. We're gonna go probably next weekend, I think. In the next couple weeks, maybe next weekend, we're gonna go and film there. And then um, we'll share the donation thing with everybody and just kind of bring awareness and help their family out. And Childhood cancer is no joke and it's very sad. So. Yeah, and she, she just loved inflatable, it's so sad. But it's sweet that they're keeping her memory yeah. alive like that. So yeah. And we'll be going there, guys. And if anyone wants to donate, or they take, in, uh, we're donating some inflatables too. So when we go check it out, we're gonna bring them some. Mm -hmm. So yeah. 
could be pretty cool. Yeah, but so yeah, as far as just straight up selling them, we don't really, yeah, okay. um, we don't really sell them. We don't. Them yeah, we'll do a giveaways from time to time if we're done with them. I mean, it all depends, and then we do donations and stuff too. I'm gonna put snowman between them because it's like two Santas. We'll do mm -hmm. snowman Santa, snowman Santa. And then the way we usually end up doing our giveaways um the way we prefer to do it is we just don't really tell anyone about it and we just uh choose someone who's very nice in a comment or pick a comment that's our favorite on our videos or whatever and that's how we pick someone got the 18 foot frosty for 25 dollars oh my heck what new inflatables did we get this year geez um how many new inflatables have we got this year for Christmas? How many new ones? How many new Christmas inflatables have we gotten, do you think? How many total Christmas? No, this year. Oh, this year? Um, we haven't really, uh, let's see. We've gotten the Jack Slate, well, or the Jack Train. We haven't unboxed mm -hmm. yet. Oh, I guess Cam's not home. The Jack Train, the There he is, Jack. he's in tow. See him? The, um, yeah. The Nom Nom Bear with the cupcake is coming that I ordered. I also ordered the Jack, Snowman Jack inflatable, but that, I don't think that's gonna be out. Uh, it was on back order. I ordered it before Halloween and it's been on back order and they just emailed me and said they'll have to cancel it because the shipment isn't coming, I guess. So. Mm -hmm. And all the other, oh, Look at these little ragamuffins. So yeah, I don't know. We probably got about a half a dozen this year so far or so. Maybe a few more. What's up, inflatable kid? How you doing? Hi, Cam. It was just Cam's birthday. Yep, Cam's over there is starting to get a pretty good collection yeah. himself. Cam's got a lot. We'll have to show the kids. <laughs> yeah, see, we haven't even done a live, I don't think, since Halloween. Seems like it's been forever and it's like one month. You're in trouble. Mason, what, what happened? Hi, Inflatable King. How you doing? Don't be in trouble. Do we know another boy? We know quite a few people that do inflatable. Everyone on here does inflatables. <laughs> but um, you mean YouTube wise or um, just around here? Hello, Canada, Mr. Fire Blast. Yep. Jack and Santa, they're rocking out over there. We can get a little closer and check them out. YouTube wise, um, yeah, there's a couple that we watched. Like AA Productions is really cool. And it's kind of they, it's kind of the same. I mean, they 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 do a lot of this similar content. Jackson, the inflatable kid. Yeah, dude. Thanksgiving inflatables, we only have turkey lips and the new turkey. And the little turkey family. And uh, so the story behind those is Max was too pumped to set up this guy right here. That he took down all, he had us take down the, crisp, uh, the Thanksgiving inflatables before Thanksgiving. Because he had to have that guy out right there. <laughs> All those elf on the shelf, they'll keep an eye on you, that's for sure. Don't do anything wrong. Yeah, there's there's a few other inflatables. And uh, 
Josh, the inflatable and tractor guy, he's a he's pretty well known, like inflatable guy. He's he's nice. He's really nice too. Oh yeah, it just seems like it was just Halloween, right? Now we're a month away from Christmas. It's coming very fast. Oh, it's oh. Papa. the doggy. He's he's just taking a nap. He's just very tired. He's a little bit. Uh, Dehydrated at the moment. Wiener dog! Wake up, wiener dog! Hello, Captain Elf on the Shelf. Are you okay? Are you okay? See you later, Austin. Remember Max when we got this, the song he made up? We know, dog, the happiest day. We oh my know gosh. <laughs> Yeah, but as far as other YouTube inflatable channels, there, there's, there's some out there. There's a bunch of kids on here who have them also. It's fun. Everybody gets, everybody's cool. You know, the little inflatable and animatronic community on YouTube is, it's pretty nice. Everybody's re really cool. Oh, you got Santa in the bathtub that the with all the bubbles and stuff. Josh the inflatable doctor? No. The inflatable doctor is going to be someone that looks a lot like me. Yeah, but maybe not. <laughs> but maybe not. The inflatable doctor. It's going to show okay. up at our house and fix shivery. Yeah, we're waiting because um yeah, he's going to fix Sally too. Oh, yep. Yeah. So we're waiting for his special tools to arrive. So. And then we're going to do a video of the inflatable hospital. Yep. We're going to take Sally and Chili to the inflatable hospital so the doctor can fix them. And it's going to be wonderful. <laughs> Hopefully we can get to that next week. Yeah, let's, we've got to do it. We'll do it this week. Yeah, he is also a tractor guy. He's, he's Josh the inflatable and tractor guy. He was uh, one of the first uh, big um, inflatable channels Max would watch. Yeah. Probably the biggest one he would watch for sure all the time. And also, or, um, awesome guy inflatable channel. Awesome, yeah, awesome guy inflatable. Yeah. They were just asking. Someone was asking for suggestions for other ones, and there's a couple yeah, out he, there. He gets a little sassy. I don't know. Yeah. Depends on how old you are, because he says naughty words. Yeah, awesome so. Awesome guy inflatable channel. So does Josh. But. <laughs> inflatable kid. Um, he oh, has. Productions. Yeah, we mentioned that. Um, he it's has. Good. Inflatable kid has the Santa in a porta potty inflatable. <laughs> nice. Hello, Keegan. What's up? You got all your decorations up? Well, I'm a little yeah. jealous. We'll probably be at it for a few more days. Yeah, all in all. But we just kind of do it, you know? I mean, we're not like super like stressed out about it. I mean, we yeah, just kind of, we just roll with it. But as soon as we can get that done, we're going to go see some more houses. Oh, and, I made a list last night too. So. The Minion House. It's Christmas mm. Minions House. So they have so they have like a hundred minions in their yard. They have blue molds, inflatables, minions everywhere. And tons of light. It's really cool. And then there's Nightmare Before Christmas House. It's a new one. And they've got the Jack, I think that guy. And he's he's been decorating the yard. So it's like got tombstones and stuff, but they have a holly on them and uh -huh. it's like uh yeah, he, it, the <laughs> premise is that Jack decorated their yard. Oh, that's so, cool. Yeah. Hi, Lucy. The dancing Santa is out. You want to go see him? Max is running around here with Cam doing wild whatever they're doing. Yeah. He's got to, he hasn't seen Cam in a few weeks. He's probably got to give him a tour real quick. See you later, Caden. Okay, here's the little dancing. He, he was Home Depot last year. 
I guess they kind of have... He's been out a few times over a few years. He's cool. He's very jolly. Oh yeah, chili will be fixed. No worries. See how jolly. Max was so scared of this guy for a hot minute, like a few times that we went to uh, Home Depot. He had to kind of take the long way around when he was real young. Yeah, the bear in the box. Um, Julie will tether those properly before we're done. She's kind of just staging them right now and then we'll get them locked down. Look, here's the little little dudes. You're the chili penguin. Yeah, Spirit Halloween Christmas animatronics. That's what y'all should do is Redress your animatronics for Spirit Halloween for Christmas. <laughs> then we'll go, we'll do Jack here really, really quick since we're pretty close. Jack's really cool. Mm. We've got a video out now. Let's see, he's cool because he just talks. I actually really like that. I prefer that over the song for the Halloween one. Yep, the there's the nom nom. The coat, the baby. Righty, righty there. Ho, 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 ho. So, we couldn't pass up on that guy once we once we saw him. Who's next on my list? Ah, come on, Timo. Christmas isn't over yet. Merry Christmas! Sandy Claus. So he also has the try me or the sensor also. It's kind of a reskin of the Halloween. I'm afraid I've made a terrible mess of your Halloween. Look who's going in the tree. Oh, there's this guy. He's creepy. I gotta fix his hands, see? Oh no. It's right there on the string. Oh. They just like they're not like secured on there. You just kind of push it into the foam. It's not, it's not broke or anything. So yeah, look, she's got the nom noms out. We got a little chippy here and a little pink wing. Little Nestor was, um, what was it? $129, something like that. Harvester stoles. If we Max, I don't know. He, he kind of wants that for Christmas, so maybe he'll get that for Christmas. Can't reach it, Shawty. I don't think I can either, but I can try. You're fancy. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi. I have the best smiles. I'm so photogenic. <laughs> like this one. <laughs> oh, little Nestor, you poor gentleman. Oh, look, it's little Nestor. Inflatable kid, see? Mm. His picture is little Nestor. <laughs> That's awesome. Yay, Lucy's got Nom Nom. Oh, you've got Chippy? Chili Penguin has Chippy too. I love your name, Chili. It's pretty cute. Oh yeah, I saw the bloody bags of jokes. Saw that up here. Did you, you have you guys seen the, what is it, Prowling Jack? Is that what he is with the pumpkin? Yeah. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Oh, dude. A Christmas dude says we should put a Santa outfit or an elf outfit. We have a we have an elf costume. Maxie has an elf costume. We totally could, huh? The only problem is his little butt is like glued down. We could get around, we could figure something out. That's a great idea. He's, you know, he's bringing the Halloween to Christmas. He's putting it in there. <laughs> oh, little Nestor, you're so adorable. Sorry. You want me to hold him? 
Or... Uh, you just kind of have to push it in here. Okay. And it has to be hooked around the rope. Okay, guys, I'm going to put this phone down for one sec while we fix little... Whoa, sorry. While we fix his little handies. Oh, man, they're pointed right at the sun, too. That's probably better. Yeah, his hands are kind of wonky, guys. They just they fall out real easy. But I love him. He's looking at you guys. Hi, kids. <laughs> oh, wait, he's got a cute voice. It's like, hi, I'm little Nestor. <laughs> I want to play. I'm Brother Bear from Bear and Stain Bears. <laughs> I think he sounds like Brother Bear. You see how happy Cam was to come to the new all excited to see him? He's all blushing. <laughs> All right, well, he's fixed. Yes, yeah, so if anybody has a little nester, like, it's just a wire that goes through here and there's a hole in the glove and it goes through uh, a little zip uh, tie right there and same over here and it just comes out real easy. Nope. Chuck E. Cheese is pretty epic, huh? Anyone watch the cursed... Um, Chuck E. Cheese videos. <laughs> Max funny. watches those. <laughs> I'll get a cord for little Nesty. Oh, I already have one. Yeah. Um, Michael says that we should put Sally in uh, Mrs. Claus costume, and that is definitely on the table. Dude, I can go put that skirt on her in the hat. Yeah, it's basically, it should be pretty easy to do. Hi, little Nest. Little Nestor joined the chat. Yeah. Little, wait, what? <laughs> what? Yo. What? what you little doing? Nestor's in the chat. Yeah, I just, that's what I tried to say here. <sighs> oh, I didn't see. Oh, is his name Little Nestor? Yes. Oh, there's another Little Nestor? He says, oh, hi. Because there's that inflatable kid, and then it has a Nestor. It's picture. him. It's this the inflatable kid. Oh. <laughs> We can play forever and ever and ever. Okay, Nasty. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> Look at his head, dude. He, his yeah. head turned so far. Yeah. I don't know if he's on like a uh, sensor. Uh, there he is. He looks like Sam. Kind of. He does. So he does have a nice voice, though. That's what sold Max. Yeah. And ever. Max likes things that are scary, but. The Legos? Yeah. We do. We can tell, I can tell the guys the secret things I got Max. But he's not here. Y'all want to hear what Max's secret. The animatronics. Well, they'll see that on either now or Christmas. Because Max, I mean, they can't really tell him anyway. He can't read. <laughs> When he's done talking, I'll tell him what it is. He'll never be done talking. He's going to talk forever and ever and ever. He's so cute. Everyone's <laughs> going to drive by and be like, what? Yeah, so we got this. And then this. Ta-da! <laughs> he's going to swing forever. Yep. Took the words right out of my mouth there, Nestor. <laughs> Wait till Christmas, you might see me under my channel. <laughs> oh, hello there. 
Hi. 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 Can you imagine how cool it would be if, uh, like, his jaw moved too? It'd be so serious. That would be great. But then it'd probably up the price by another hundred dollars. Let's be real. <laughs> more movements they have from spirit the more expensive they are yeah. definitely should we tell the, the guys what we got max do you guys want to know a secret the two animatronics we got max for christmas mm -hmm. it's a secret we got i don't them. think you should say anything you don't think so oh i'll give them a hint if anyone can guess then they get it one of them is 10 feet tall. It is 10 feet tall, seriously. And he's got LCD eyes that blink like the skeleton. Mm -hmm. So I'm Matt- I'm excited, I have to tell someone. Yeah. Max gets a pretty serious Christmas because he gets stuff from us and from Sandy Claus. Like last year, he could clown in our living room. Yeah. You want a shout out? Want, you want a little shout out as little Nestor? <laughs> See, he's still going. He's never going to stop. He's, he's a little rascal. <gasps> look at the gentle deers we have. They look very peaceful and they're very lit up. I think it would be cool if they would have made them like a uh, blow mold style and kind of had some lights inside. But we can do that. I mean, we can like customize them. Oh, we'll just shine the lights on them like you had. Mm -hmm. Put Molly up here. One thing I gotta say is that skeleton. What's the skeleton boy's name again? Little Nestor. Little Nestor? No, the other one. Oh, uh, little Skelly Bones. Little Skelly Bones and little Nestor have the greatest sensors ever because oh, they just. Man. They just. Quit. Yeah. I think they turn themselves on by their rocking motion. Seriously, like they're just wild. <laughs> All right, you gonna go change back? Ever and ever and ever. See, look, she's already moving stuff around. Told you this was gonna happen. So we gotta put the biggest ones in the back too, so. Your bathroom is leaking nonstop? Oh no. Oh no. That sounds like a serious plumbing issue. We got a low battery warning. Oh. I'll go grab my Yeah, I'm gonna go turn little Nestor off because he's gonna be like. Yeah. His arms move. He's coming. He's going to be on yard inflatables. They're getting him. Oh, really? So I signed up to get notified when he gets in. But I think he's 10 feet tall. He's um, mixed media. So he's got the plush mm -hmm. and stuff. And he, he's, anim he's animated. His arms move. There's good. Davion. Hi, Davion. What up? We unboxed a train, Davion, and it was so loud. It was, like, so loud. like, And it kept falling off the track. It was, like... It makes this horrible clicking sound, huh? Mm hmm so we might just trade it in for something else because we were like... Yes. Yeah, we, we did the train and it's it's cool. Looks really cool. Yeah. 
It's big, but it, it kind of made it's kind of noisy. Really loud. We filmed it, so you guys will see. Johnny Punk. What's up, Jonathan Slipknot and Inflatable Reviews? Everyone want to go check them out? I got to go have me some of this goodness right here. So, I don't do coffee, so when you're an adult, some of you are going to understand. You got to keep up with my caffeine intake. <laughs> How old am I? I'm 44 years old young yeah Johnny Punk spirit yeah yep you're 12 Davion nice about to make that teenager years huh no, he's 12, so it's going to be a teenager within a year. Dang. Sounds like. That's crazy. Fun. And then I'm going to open the animated Santa. Yeah, and then animated Santa's going up. He's one of my favorites from last year. So, so yeah, um, Julie was saying about Yard Inflatables. That's like one of our probably most serious places we buy from quite often because they're cool and they're a jemmy supplier they supply jemmy or their jemmy supplies them so it's cool try to guess your name by looking at my face oh man your name i'm gonna say i don't know you're on your dad's account you're 15 it's so cool you're it's okay you're almost ready to make your own account soon huh you have two trains. We want to get one, like, really bad, like, but it was too loud. It, it looked really cool, and I told Julie, if, if we keep it, um, we'll probably won't have it going very often, and I would like something that we could have, like, going, like, around the Christmas tree, but it would be too loud for that, unfortunately. So, so it would be two hours to take a plane, so let's see, you're probably in Arizona, Colorado, no, not Colorado, Arizona, Washington, maybe. Well, that's farther. Um, Vegas, maybe. Yeah, we want, we want a, a nice train that's uh, a lot quieter. But it looked really cool. But it was like fifty dollars, and I'm like, I don't know, man. Like fifty dollars is a lot to pay for it to make um, the Lionel North Pole train. We're gonna check it out because Julie's now she's hundred percent determined. <laughs> it's gonna happen. You're eight, nice, and ten. You guys are getting up there. And 12. Wait, no, I mean six hours. Um, where are you at? California, maybe? Oh, we, had, we have our Christmas tree up, too. It's all pretty much all done. You wonder what they're going to do with the 12-foot um, skeleton for next year? Is that what you mean? Oh, man, I don't know. Um, they've had the regular 12 foot out for two years now. So the Inferno came out this year. They got to do, they'll definitely a hundred percent, um, put out something else like that because they make a lot of money off those. <laughs> so you're almost eight. Nice chili penguin. But I'd be interested. I hope they do some kind of, uh, um, medieval thing or even a pirate kind of one would be awesome. Or like if they did a big 12 foot like uh, troll like Harry Potter style or like Lord of the Rings style would be awesome too. But that's looking to be expensive. There's a couple animatronics companies that are make stuff like that and they're really expensive. 
Oh, a 12 foot witch. Now that's a good, that's a good thing. You might meet him someday. You never know. Happy birthday. You're 14? Dang. Everybody get all their inflatables for the year. You guys still buying inflatables and animatronics for the year. Yay, I'm, we're gonna, he, we might take him around and to some conventions and stuff next year, so you might meet him. You have 160, oh, that is nuts. That's crazy, that's so many. <laughs> You're still buying, Lucy? Same, it's definitely slowing down, but um, Max, wants a lot of uh, animatronics for Christmas. <laughs> so, and I don't blame him. He's not like, uh, he's the type of kid that wants that kind of stuff for Christmas instead of maybe a little bit more traditional. And that's cool, you know, we support that. <laughs> we have the Lowe's coming out of the present is it the same as this one because this is supposed to be a jack-in-the-box is it just kind of a reskin of that right or is it bigger i can't remember oh we didn't get to see their uh santa animatronic so we went there we you know bought some bought a lot of Christmas stuff and it's amazing how much uh, they've sold already it's crazy no we won't blow a fuse these um, everyone who has a lot of inflatables know these are really efficient nowadays it takes quite a few look here's these ragamuffins what are you guys doing partying Yeah, I mean, we could probably put another 10 of them on there. What's up, Austin? You're back? Follow me, let's go. Mason, what? I don't know what question you're talking about, but we can't. Um, we're all cool here, man. You can't start being like that, okay? Davion's uh, gonna be a moderator if we have to. Do, if we have to. Max just turned seven, and he's pretty tall for his age. So. Yeah, he's in first grade, seven years old. And for Max, everything Halloween all the time. Max is like four and a half feet tall. Yeah, he's like, well, almost four and a half. He's like 52 or 53 inches tall. You guys want to help set up some stuff? What do you want to set up? Max is good at setting stuff up too. You can get with him and he'll he'll help you. He can get he can tether and everything. You're in love with Shorty. Shorty? Shorty's cool. We didn't get Shorty this year. But Max really wanted Shorty. But we'll see. It's not over yet, right? Doing homeschool, that's okay. 
with the internet and stuff and as much stuff as you can learn online homeschool you can do that totally yeah our christmas tree's up not quite finished we still got a couple decorations to throw on it and all that see you later lucy thanks for stopping by uh we don't have the we just got a new tree topper and stuff so we got to put that on and a couple of things like that Thanks, Liam. You have yours up? I can walk in there and show it to you real fast. Oh, yeah. We're almost out of battery. So let me walk in. I'll show you the Christmas tree real fast. And you got to come back and charge. Okay. And not quite done, but it's coming along. Look at this. So there she is, see? You even got my ladder ready to put the top on. Pretty fun. Yes, he has Elf on the shelf. That's little Elfie. He gets mentioned quite often this time of year and he's 100% spying on Max 24 seven now, so. Okay, I'll sit down and charge this. We can still chat. But I. Oh, your bathroom's leaking and the light broke. Dang. That's a rough day. Cam, how was your birthday? It was good. I don't know if it's charging. It's not like my phone, it doesn't say. Is it supposed to say? Uh, it's not charging? Yep, Elfie and Elfie babies. Yep, I don't know. You, you tell me. Yeah, it is. Oh, hold on one sec, guys. Haven't bought any inflatables yet? Oh, there's still time. Oh, we just put Little Nestor there for fun because we like to party. Uh, if he's able to, uh, Elfie's not, he doesn't know where Elfie's at, and I don't know where Elfie's at. Little Nestor is there. He's watching over, he's kind of overseeing everything, making sure we're all staying in line, you know. You like Little Nestor, Cam? He's freaky. Because he just turns on sometimes without any power connected to him. That's weird, right? She's a crazy girl. She's a crazy girl. Yeah. <gasps> Snowy! She's a champ. Yep. Your internet's a little laggy. Sorry. All right, if we start lagging, will you guys let me know? It's not Halloween anymore. And we will turn off Wi Fi. Yeah, we we're just kind of showing it. You gonna get a bloody bag of jokes for Christmas? Nice. Did you hear his voice, Cam? Okay, now that thing is kind of hard to set up, but not really hard. You just have to make sure you tie on the tethers under his arms before you blow him up because um, it's too high to reach unless you get a ladder. But other than that, it goes he goes up really well. But he's you have to have someone hold him while you tie him down because he will just fall over. I don't know if there's a Santa dancer. Oh, look at Snowdy. She's going to take a nap. Hey, look at Snowdy. <laughs> Inflatable child says, hi, Cam. Oh, he's pretty good in the wind. Um, I'm, I'm on the charger right now, but his tethering spots are like legit but it um just like with halloween if any storm comes through we that's any it's measurable i guess um we turn all the inflatables off and we put weight on top of them because they will tear in the wind it's possible barnyard butcher from 2014 spirit 
Yeah, she's, she's, <laughs> she's had a long sleep for the past 10 months or so, so it's taken her a minute to wake up. Oh yeah, that's, that's the thing is animatronics, like we don't really, David's TV, I th they do a lot of animatronics. They might take theirs down because they have so many or Brick Thunder and stuff, but we don't. We have a whole like room in our, a huge room in our basement. We just leave them all. Um, we're just fortunate to have a room like that where we can just leave them, leave them up, you know? <laughs> yeah, she's, she needs a cup of coffee or something. <laughs> Where's my boyfriend? Oh, Max is arranging. Um, is that a good spot for it? You're a tetherer boy? The alien? Oh, that's from the movie Aliens. It's scary. Max, or Cam loves scary, um, like toy figurine stuff. He always has those, our wrestling guys. So. <laughs> Max likes the, the dinosaurs a little more. But she's tired of, no more, no more. Yeah, if you, it's easier if you don't have to take them all apart, definitely, but they do occupy a lot of space. Benefit of inflatables, on the other hand, is they take up hardly any space, you know what I mean? If you got a big closet or something, you can put a lot of them in there. You are an elf on the shelf. <laughs> You're constantly just looking for pictures and names, huh? See, Max, is a, he's a great tether, like. <laughs> I'm impressed with your tethering skills, Max. Oh, rip, rip shivery. Yeah, that sucks. Sometimes, you know, there's nothing you can do. They just have to go bye-bye, unfortunately. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's ironic. I mean, obviously that wasn't planned, but his birthday, yes, in October. It works perfectly because all he wants for his birthday is Halloween stuff. Christmas too, but so it's... Yep, Snowy's awake for the year, for the rest of the year anyway. We usually leave ours up. Um, we'll have our Christmas display probably up through New Year's. You know, and then it's on to the next thing. We got some ideas for some fun little videos too. <laughs> Can't wait, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, the Nutcracker one, is it like this one or the new one? Bigger one or small one? There's, I really want one of the big ones from Home Depot or, or even the one at home with the, like they have LED lights going all the way down them right there and right there, you know, and like maybe along the bottom, but they're cool. Probably should have picked one up when we have, when we have the chance, but. Oh, the fuzzy dog. The fuzzy doggy family. They're so fun. Wish I could walk over there. I have a battery. Yeah, this is like the go-to Christmas decoration for this year. I think there were, at our Home Depot, there was one or two left is all. He's really cool. Have you noticed how many, how much music he plays? It's literally like an entire, like, soundtrack it's like it plays like a lot of songs it's really cool you had 10 they definitely didn't go as fast as skelly but they're awesome he's on right now you can i can't really see it but the sun's just on him. 
I don't think his music's on. They're really cool. I'm super stoked. I kind of wish we would have got two so we could have like one on each side. I don't know if the problem, I have nowhere to tether it. I don't know what, how I tie it down. I could stake the base, but that's, that's about as good as it gets for that. <laughs> yeah, he'll probably end up inside near, near the Christmas tree. You can turn the volume down. Oh, ours, it's like, I was pretty like taken back by how loud they go. The speakers that they put in those things nowadays are legit. They're, they're really loud. Oh, there he goes again. He's cool. Get Jack. If you can get Jack. We had to pick him up on eBay, and I'm stoked that we got him. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I, says, I, I told Julie, I said, I can stake the crap out of the base, but... I can't guarantee that that won't get pulled out if it starts to to get windy, you know. Oh, you did? Uh, he's in the sun. I can't tell. I can see his lights. Oh, his lights went off. I think you got to turn the button again. Turn the button so you can see his lights around his drum. Then he'll be on. Put five stakes. You want me to go turn it on? Here, I will. Let me set this down. One hour and one minute? Oh, no, like maybe Yeah, see, you can kind of hear him. Uh, yeah, Max was super stoked when we got him because he loves like the Nutcracker, the the soundtrack, the Nutcracker. So. dark outside where you live where where do you live you in uh the east coast or are you like in another country your walmart had one we didn't even really I, someone told us on here about him or julie uh saw it on the internet something like that but she had to pick it up on um i think it was ebay not for very much more like 50 dollars more she paid so um you collect real nutcrackers real nutcrackers are cool my my mother does the same thing and our neighbor that um we have a neighbor that they do serious decorating inside their house and they let us come and film it usually and uh, they have like a thousand nutcrackers it's crazy I own a Michigan. Is that, yeah. Is MI Michigan or is that? Sorry. Yeah. So you're probably two hours ahead of us. It's probably like 520 there now, right? That's about the same time. It'll get dark here in a couple hours. <gasps> Your wiener dog inflatable passed. No. Sad. Sad when that happens, huh? Yeah, 520, yep. Two hours ahead of us. It's probably super cold there too, huh? Doesn't it get like really, really cold there? Let's see. 
so you're 420, so you're like a, you're probably in the Midwest or um, Colorado. Where's the line? Um, Kansas, somewhere around there. The nine foot snowman from where? Which one? 22 is a pretty big collection. I'm not gonna lie. Like that's starting to get like legit. So don't, that's, it's good. Oh, if he, if his arms moved, he would be like a legit, like animatronic, like, right? Super cool. But I mean, it would be a lot more money, but the reindeers are, they've, they've moved again. There's right there. <laughs> they're the Home Depot ones. They're cool. They're, they're like $100 each this year. Whoa. Sorry. Sometimes I, when I have this plugged in, it messes up like that. You won the snowman, all right. Look at the snowy up there. Got the African American Home Depot. Well, yeah, we we almost got that one. We were gonna buy that, but we're like, dude, we have so many Santa Clauses right now. Oh yeah, you don't need no speaker. Sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, like those speakers legit. That's not even turned up um, all the way. You can hear it all the way there. Yeah, it's, I, I was messing with the cord. I'm sorry. Live on horse property, so you can't have them up until 5 p.m. Oh, dang. That's okay, though, right? It's better than nothing. Could be worse. Yeah, I was gonna go walk around for a second. I have we have a little more charge, so. Yeah. Yay! It stopped leaking. Nice. Yeah. So these like blow mold like deer things. The only the they only have lights right here though. Which is kind of cool. They change colors. They're little LEDs. Oh my heck. Look how frightening this little character is. What? Cam's all about putting on costumes. How freaky is that? It fits him so good. He's a boy that loves costumes. Definitely. Here, can you take this? I need to go use the bathroom really quick. Hello, everybody. Yeah, Cam loves costumes, you guys, so much. Yeah, that's why you have to kind of just leave it alone. <clears throat> Look at that scary Cam, guys. I'm gonna. Un I'm going to. Hi, Davion. What's up? Oh, dude. Look at that. It'll keep you warm too. It, there's a wig too in there, but we put it on cam for a second. But he, he doesn't want to wear a wig. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Look at that. Hello, Liam. Hi, Caden. Oh yeah, a jumbo clown. That would be so freaky. That would be scary. Here, guys, I'm gonna put this here. <laughs> Yeah, um, the is it the door greeter, Davion? That door greeter one that talks? He's, he's really cool. I really like it. It's actually pretty warm here today. Hi, Halloween kid. What's up? It's, it's like super warm. And it hasn't even like really snowed yet here, which is weird because last year at this time, we had like a huge, huge snowstorm. Bye, Very soon big. I'm done with this tears. I'm gonna... Be faster than him. What? Do you see how snow I am like? He's he is a blur. Oh, that's awesome, Davion. We're getting um, I, we're no, gonna I, get uh, we're getting an African American um, inflatable too. Next like next week or I think next week sometime. <laughs> we're gonna get the African American um, Santa and Mrs. Claus inflatable. Oh, Amazon's here. So that'll probably be next next week when it gets here. Oh my heck, you guys, Cam is trying to scare the Amazon guy. Look, Cam, Cam's gonna scare him. <laughs> yeah, we'll do the archway in just a second, Austin. <laughs> here, I'll get the archway out right now. Um, hold on. You guys can watch Cam scare the guy. <laughs> I'm going to walk away from the phone for just a sec while I get another inflatable. You guys can watch this uh, situation unfold here. <laughs> Hi, crazy animatronics kid. Dang, Caden, that's awesome, buddy. That's so cool. I'm going to get... Hey guys, in this box here I just put down, that's the animatronic um, Santa in the chair and he waves. What, Cam? I said Santa. Oh. <laughs> oh, you did? That guy, the Amazon guy said you almost, you, that he was a little scared. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, it's, I found it, it's, it was like on, uh, it's on, um, I think Wayfair. It was either Wayfair or Overstock. They had the African American Mrs. Claus and Santa, and then they also had a like Mary and Joseph and Baby Jesus African American one. And then there's this other one I want so bad that is like, it's like a bunch of people. It's like a sign. It says like Happy Holiday or no, it says Joy to the World, and it has a bunch of little kids and stuff of all different colors. I want that one. I'm gonna try and get it if I can. I've been looking for it, but um, I still have to check a couple more sites. But that, I really, really, really want that one this year. That'd be so cool. <laughs> oh, a light, sh light show trees. That would be awesome. Thank you, Caden, you're so nice. Okay, I'm gonna open up this animatronic Santa, guys. Right here. 
right in the front of this time? Yeah. This last year he was like over in that corner. Uh, where Max keeps feathering everything. <laughs> He's a good tetherer too. He's a good Drinking that rock star went right through me, that's for sure. <laughs> they do that. Oh, look at this. Look, yeah. guys. Yeah, if no one saw, go check out the videos from last year real quick when you can. We did an unboxing and all that. He's really cool. He's like legit animatronic, like his face looks real. And he moves, but he's an inflatable. Yeah. You'll see, we'll set him up. It's really when cool. I found that, I was like, what? Oh, Daddy on. Hello, children. Oh, Hello, everybody. It's been a long summer. It's so hot in Welcome here. Why does Santa have a British accent? Uh, everything you do has some kind of accent. Yeah. Which inflatable? This one? You want this one? He's cool. He's like cool to the point where it's like looks kind of kind of real, like from the street. Like obviously it's still an inflatable, but yeah. But in the dark, like um, at nighttime. So does he even have any lights in him? I can't remember. I thought we had to put a light on him. Yeah, you kind of have to put his legs. Ten minus two is eight. You know, you're sad, Abe. Why? What happened? Is that kind of creepy? Yeah. A husky Christmas inflatable? Yeah, that'd be cool. I, I've seen a few, uh, the mini ones, like the baby ones from time to time. But no, like, I'd like to see like a six foot husky. That would be awesome. Your ghost face is broke. Was it brand new Mama, broke? Can you turn or did that it crack off now? Yeah. Brand new and it was broke. Oh, that sucks. Spirit's like the worst too, as far as like getting anything like that. Like they're just like it is what it is. Yeah. So that Santa has like a metal kind of frame in him too. But when it blows up, it supports him Yeah. And it looks like he's sitting on a chair. You'll see it. Oh, my heck. If I was just, like, sitting there, I'd wave at everybody. Hugs the clown came broken. Did you, were you able to get a return or a exchange? Or were they just, like, you're screwed? Unless I landed on it. Yeah, Home Depot animatronics are great. Also, because they're uh, 
Um, really durable, it seems like, but their return policy is so awesome. You know what I mean? Like, it's easy to get a return. Home Depot is all about customer service, so. Yeah, spirits, that's the one bad thing about. So here he is. You can kind of see him. He's starting to blow up. I'm still on the charger right now, so. Can you see him move? Oh. Yeah, look at him go. You <laughs> can't be in there for me. You can run away from me. They're gonna come out and then stop. Okay. So I just so basically, I just have to run around the place. Yeah, so I don't get you. Yeah. So I mean, he's he's inflatable, so you can't sit on his knee, but he waves and turns his head. He's cool. Wait, wait, Cam. Maybe I Where was he originally from? It was a Home Depot last year. And if I, yeah, I think so. I, um, I'm almost certain I'm right, but he doesn't have any lights in him, though. Yeah, I think you are right, actually. So it's more for like the realism kind of look, I suppose. We'll just put spotlights. So you have to, yeah, you have to spotlight him up or illuminate him. Some, I'm, I'm pretty certain. I'll remember, obviously, at night when we see it, but. But he is a jolly fellow. It's like legit. It's got even like the, the chair bottom thing. Oh no. Oh no. He's still waving all through all that. He's still just going. It's not the most stable. Yeah, it's not. It, what you get in the mm -hmm. minutes long. He also does take a bigger box and stuff though because he has a metal frame, so he does take up a little bit more space than like a conventional one of his size. Santa's kidnapping you, no. I mean, I guess if you're gonna get kidnapped, if it was really Santa and you got kidnapped, it wouldn't be a super bad. <laughs> right? Yes, animatronic Santa. Carbon up, this. bro. So jolly. As soon as we inflate him a uh, um, few more times this year, it'll relax his fabric too. So. Yeah, we got him late last year. Later, anyway. So he's cool. Yeah, I'm sure. If we got an unboxing video of him, I'm pretty sure, don't we? Somewhere back in there in the library. Um, if you, later, when this, is, this will be published, you know, I'll put a link in the, in the description later tonight. Mm -hmm. An iCard? <gasps> no, just a link in the description. Oh, just a link in the description. Ghost face. Rip ghost face. That sucks. What parts broke on him? Someone's someone's ghost face is broke. Oh. That you're 
You got a whole Santa sleigh. We'll have to check it out. Send us a message with the link. The gem, yeah, we got the gem for the little fir tree, the Douglas fir. It's in the had it plugged in, like, and he will talk up a storm. Oh, your little storytelling Santa is super cool. I'm glad you like that. Calling the police. Remember we got the broken one? Oh yeah. They sent us didn't they send us a broken one? No, I got it off Mercari. Oh yeah. That's what it was. And it was broke right from the get. I remember that. I like the nom noms. Anything like animated like that's always really cool. Yeah. The 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 return of chili. Yeah. Right now they're just engaged. Should open uh, nice. Black Friday Jack and Zero from Home Depot. Uh, we're gonna do a video on those, I think, like a legit like opening one. Cause Julie, I think, is gonna do uh, um, Nightmare Before Christmas display on the other side of the yard. Kind of like Halloween, but the Christmas version. Chili Snowman will return okay, next week, maybe, okay. or the week after. Okay. Santa's in jail. Well, if he's kidnapping people, that's what's going to happen, you know? You have a step pad for your um, ghost face? Hey, Mateo. How you doing? Oh, I'm... Nom nom. They always like to spill over when you first set them up, it seems like. Oh, you have the nom nom, which penguin and chipmunk? Is it the same ones? your jumping spider. Do those step pads from Spirit Halloween, if that's where you got it, dude, their cords are so freaking long. <laughs> They're like 15 foot long cords, it seems like. Chili Snowman's awesome. Chili Snowman's a classic. They have a lot of different versions of that too for different years. Just looking at you. He's like, what's the, the 18 foot Miami? decorator Grayson says they made an 18 foot grin. Yeah, that's what I was gonna get. Uh -oh. And Stacy, that was one of the, the options. Oh, yeah, Stacy has a 20 foot nutcracker. Nice, it looks like, Cam, look, it looks like I know he's like so close yet so far away to that fish. <laughs> He wants to eat it so bad, but it's it just okay. never makes it. Ooh, which jumping spider do you have? What color?
Oh, the black and white one's awesome. We got like the black and gray and uh, the red one. Um, we did a poll for which giant inflatable we should get and everybody chose the 15 or 16 foot uh, Rudolph. So that's on the way. Uh, I don't know if I would get it. I would probably recommend it. Is it the, the two pack, right? Home Depot. Our neighbor needs to have a Grinch. He is the Grinch. I was gonna get it for him until he turned into one. Yeah, he's kind of a Grinch. He's kind of not happy with us. <laughs> Cause we do a lot of displays that he doesn't like. <laughs> Yeah, so the giant uh, Rudolph got um, voted in, so that will um, we'll be getting that next week, and then we'll do a video ASAP up with that. And the Nightmare Before Christmas, we'll probably unbox those tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow, get that video out as soon as possible. Chili penguin. Thank you. Chili penguin just donated five dollars. Sweet. That was super nice. We live in Utah. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Hello, Leon. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you, Abe. That's super nice. Thanks, thanks, Decorator Grayson. You're awesome. And we're gonna try just uh, a little FYI. Um, we're gonna try to do a giveaway before Christmas, but it's gonna be a secret giveaway. So keep commenting on the videos and we'll probably pick a random commenter between now and Christmas and send out a little Christmas inflatable. So, you know. Okay. A little Merry Christmas. So those who comment a lot know that you have a pretty reasonable chance if you're commenting often. <laughs> and I don't know what inflatable will be. I'll go pick one out from the store. It will be a probably just a regular size or a mini. Thanks, Decorator. You guys are so awesome. We just hit 50,000 subscribers today. Uh, thanks to everybody. You guys are you guys are so super cool. You've been watching since you were three. Okay, I'm gonna unplug this. I probably got enough battery now. <gasps> He's just like chomping away. There's a there's a guy who never really gets to eat. He's just, he's just listening to you talk to the kids. I'm like, hey, what you talking about? What you talking about, huh? <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, guys. I, I imagine he has some kind of, like, list, like... Or, like, whistles, like the beaver yeah. oh, yeah. or Bambi or whatever, like... <laughs> Hi. I can't, I can't recreate that. Like, just, go to the park, guys. <laughs> guys. 
Yeah. You've been watching since 4,000 subs. That's, that's, awesome. that's a minute ago now. Thank you. No, See you fine. later, Austin. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. That's okay. We're just getting started. Next year, we're going to start doing a lot of uh, create. We're going to um, do some creative fun videos to watch too why don't we buy the 14 foot Santa as much as we wanted it um, we kind of tried not to buy any Santas this year because in the past we bought way too many inflatable Santas so we have a lot that's the only reason <laughs> so we'll have to go a few years in between purchasing inflatable Santas <laughs> The Air Balloon Santa is actually a Walmart. Um, I'll get a little closer. We're charged enough. I can walk around now. Yeah, that was a Walmart probably two years ago. I want to say. It's like a 12 foot. He's really cool. Max was super like pumped to get that. But yeah, that was a Walmart a couple years ago. They, they've done, done a couple different versions that I've seen. I like ours. But uh, yeah, I think that this the, the roly poly sand is is the best I've seen so far. You might be able to find one on eBay if you were like, yeah, I like blow molds too. If we could find some good like retro blow molds, I'd be super down to get those too. Because I like blow molds. I mean, they're just like a a good whole old fashioned like kind of a Christmas thing. You know what I mean? Hi, Holiday Inflatable World. You've been watching since Max got the Mickey and Minnie? That's been a while, too. Oh, poor hamster. That sucks. It's not fun when pets pass away. It's, it's unfortunate. Sorry. Oh yeah, we'll have to look. Julie looks. I don't. I don't have a Facebook, but Julie, she sees the marketplace every once in a while. Yeah. Um. Uh, decorator Grayson saying to check Facebook Marketplace for blow molds. Yeah. Oh yeah. Try to get into the Great Christmas Light Fight. What's that? I don't. Sorry. You have 30 vintage blow molds for Christmas and 11 Halloween. That's that's a huge collection of blow molds. We did do a video one year where uh, we were looking at houses and we found a lady that had some blow molds from like the 60s. The yeah, they were super retro and old and they still worked. It was mm -hmm. pretty, pretty cool. Hard to find because obviously the what they get weathered. You know what I mean? So... If people have them in, oh yeah, people that have them and they are still good from that, are worth money definitely. Well, I was also a collector for everything. You have some from the fifties. That's so cool. We don't have any super retro -y old ones like that, but all my. Um, Christmas stuff I've had through the years, a lot of it's gone now, so I'm sure Julie's is the same, but it happens. Nom nom pingy. We had a lot of I had a lot of Christmas stuff at one point in my life. But the ex-wife has it now. Nom nommy! Look, he can almost eat it. <laughs> So close. It's so far away. Yeah, we bought one and it didn't work. It was so like sad. <laughs> like it's like, oh. Oh, is a TV show with four people compete to win? Um, 
Yeah, we're going to start doing like virtual meet and greet things. Um, when Julie comes back here, she signed up for some website that hosts stuff like that. I don't, she knows. So I'll, I'll ask her. But yeah, like speaking of that TV show, Julie's been watching the, um, she t super gets into like the, I don't know if you guys do or not, but like the cake decorating competitions, like the Halloween pumpkin carving ones, like they have a lot of holiday like competition shows that her and Max were just watching one night for like a couple of hours. It was pretty cool. You're eating McDonald's. I'm jealous. You have a blow mold snowman holding a football. Bro oh, it broke. Root football snowman. You'll always be with us. Yeah, so I'll, I'll find out what the website is. She had to like, they have to be approved to do it. So, and I think they approved it, but I don't know what it's called. The giant snowman came back at Home Depot. Shut up, someone stole it? Oh man, that's never happened to us. I would be so like, so not happy. You know what I mean? Animatronics are expensive too. People are jerks, man. Tell you what, like, they ain't gonna stop us from decorating, but people are jerks. It's crazy, you know? Especially when you're just trying to make people happy with stuff. <gasps> you saved Goldface. Nice. That's good. I'm glad that you could repair it at some point. I've had to do that with a few different things. Oh, look at these gentle deers. Oh, Chinese food I love. I love it. General, like so, like the chicken. Oh my gosh, that's so great. You're making me hungry now. Everyone's eating McDonald's, Chinese food. If anyone's eating any Mexican food, you're gonna, you're gonna make me sad, because I love it. What is, people are asking what that website is that you do the meet and greet things on and stuff. Cameo? Here, I'll let her tell you. She's, she signed up for it. Yeah, I have to send that lady a video uh, just saying my name and hers to prove that it's me and then she's going to get her account. Okay, and what's it called again? Cameo. It's called Cameo. Nate, the great is on. Yeah, Nate the Great's on it also. I'm sure there's like other like YouTuber is and you can like get that's how you would get people to send personalized messages and stuff. You all sorts of celebrities on that site too. Yeah. Did you forget about shivering pengi? <gasps> Chili Pengi. Chili Pengi. Remember she and Chili Snowman are best friends? And then he passed away. I do remember that. You got Mr. Dark for 50% off? That's what? freaking lucky. That's crazy. What? Um, she's been, yeah, it takes a minute to sign up for that website because you have to like show your credentials and accepted. stuff and get accepted. So it's in the process. I mean, oh, this is a busy good. time of year too. So oh. we're just doing stuff as quickly as we can, but oh, yeah. Now. Oh, Baby Jim is my favorite. Everyone knows that. Anyone involved in the live streams knows that. Me and Baby Jim, we got history. So, but yeah, he should be a 20, uh, 365 day <laughs> prop. See if everybody can help us decide where to put the archway. I think Baby Jim might appear as a little cherub for Valentine's Day. I think that would be fun. <laughs> we can get it. Oh, we could do that. We could do every holiday with like baby Jim somewhere in our yard just chilling. <laughs> holiday Inflatable says, Hi, Max's mom. Hi, Holiday Inflatable. I'm gonna go get Bumble. Bumble. 
Yeah, see, look, it's building bigger and a little bit bigger all day today. Been at the live stream for 144 minutes. Thanks for everyone who's came through, stopped by, said hello. Yes, um, Rudolph will go back in that space, right back there, and then um, that stand up will probably be moved somewhere up here. So we're just gonna we'll have to move it around a little sometimes it's all good heck yeah you can come and help us decorate it oh yeah little nester he's he's still chilling he's kind of just watching over everything he's gonna be watching like forever and ever and ever and ever <laughs> the the new cellar dweller baby jim is the little mini skeleton um he's just a little uh some he appears in a lot of our halloween videos but he's just a little like two foot skeleton and he is a little mischievous sometimes he gets around our yard <laughs> He's my buddy. When will we be unboxing the Jack Train Holiday Inflatable? Tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll probably do that and then we'll get the video out. ASAP after that. Yep. She's just dancing away. She'll, she'll dance her heart out. You know? She's going to get married to Chili when you yes. get to the hospital. They love each other. They're getting married. She's cheering him on and is. Max is with Cam running around. I can hear him in the backyard, probably on the trampoline. But when Chili comes back to life, the first thing he's going to ask for is, Where's, where's Snorty? <laughs> and she's, she'll be there by his side. She'll be, and he'll, he wants to get married because it's a new lease on life. Nice. You have a YouTube channel too? You have to send us a link. We'll check it out as soon as we can. See, there's the boys. They're they're wild. They're like little wild animals. They're just partying hard today. What are you guys up to? Back to running around the yard? Okay. They have a lot of energy. Oh my gosh, that's a great idea. <laughs> we could have a whole, we could do, Julie I'm sure would be down for that because she wants to do voices for everything. Yeah, our neighbor across the street. Uh, yeah, we were going to get him a Grinch and just plop it down in his yard because he's a Grinch, but we'll see. He's angry at us nowadays because he isn't. You could someday. <gasps> see? See how much energy there is in this place? Like Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <gasps> oh my heck, I almost did it. When he gets done running, I'll tell. <laughs> That's the kind of energy you, you kids need to enjoy while you have it. it gets a lot harder to do the older you <laughs> My favorite inflatable, let's say for Christmas, for right now that we have out here. Because it's very hard for to choose, but I I gotta go with the 18 foot Frosty. Yeah, I mean that's just that and um, the no I don't dang the Nom Noms like Snowy and then Santa here. I can't even. I don't know. But you can't go wrong with the 18 foot Frosty, right? 
What's up, Michael Jackson Roblox Gaming? Again. Thanks for stopping by again. I thought, um, I would think that too, but I feel like little Nom Nom Pingui is a little too young to get married. He's this tall for his age. <laughs> My favorite Halloween inflatable. Let's see. What one was I digging on this year? Hmm. I don't know. I really kind of liked our cat this year. I was happy that we got the 12 foot cat or 13, whatever it is. But. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of murderings going on. These two. They're all. <laughs> A lot of screaming going on. They like to do that. It's loud. Oh, man. Yeah. Kids got energy for days, though. Chili Snowman. Uh, last year, if you watched any videos, we had a, we had a rip Chili Snowman video. He he passed away for, for a while. We got to revive him. Cake Pop. But Chili Snowman is being repaired. He's we're waiting for the inflatable doctor to come and repair him. That video will be out um, soon. Next week we're probably gonna do that. <laughs> Little tiny Santa. He's okay, don't worry. The inflatable doctor is definitely gonna resuscitate him so Snowdy can live. They said that we should get Snowdy and Shivery with in front of the green screen and do a series of their oh, life dude, together. That is such a good idea. <laughs> such a good idea. I said anything to do voices and Julie's into it. Yeah. And these two just love to eat. Uh -huh. They're always just there ready to party, but they always have a snack. Yep. Yeah. And here's Shivery. I, I like to put them all together. The Shivering and the Nom Noms. Yeah. And then Snowdy. I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna just put Nutcracker just a little bit back in that little. Yeah, Chili, um, Chili Pingui, he's a little worried about uh, shivering, like, so he's eating. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a little anxious right now, and how he yeah, deals with bit. that is, he's not sure what's going on. he just eats constantly. Really <laughs> he has a lot of anxiety, so that's how he takes it out, believe me. Yeah, Santa is possessed. Look at him. He's just still waving. Ho, 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 everybody. Merry Christmas. Uh, the inflatable cat that turns his head is awesome. We didn't get him out this year. Because we kind of just... Ha one? Yeah. This year's the year. <laughs> Yeah, well, she's talking about next year we're gonna thinking about getting a twenty foot cat, which is bigger than him by a couple of feet. Yeah, that's probably better back there. But our inflatable cat that turns his head, we still have him. We just didn't get him out this year because of just room constriction. So we kind of had to pick and choose what we wanted to put out. You know. So he might appear next year. He might. Oh, you're not done either. We're right there with you. We're same same boat. What's my favorite holiday? Um, man, Halloween and Christmas, but Halloween by a little bit. But yeah, if I this whole the last, let's say, three or four months of the year is just the best, you know. Enjoy that. Yeah. So whenever we're setting up um, inflatables, there's a whole lot of like setting them up and standing back and looking and then moving them. Well, yeah, 
Yeah, because Max gets all excited and he goes around staking yep. stuff. And then we move him again. Yeah. And we move him again. And we move him again. And then we tether him. And then we move him again. And then, and then we might be done. So that's how it goes. You built inflatables in Minecraft? That's a great idea. What, what ones did you do? Yeah. Hello, the niece of Holiday Inflatable World. Oh. Looks like uh, we're going to get a Christmas dragon out. I like the Christmas dragons. There is a video with him. Goodbye, holiday inflatable world. Yeah, this little draggy here tried to burn down our house. <laughs> yep. If anyone's, if anyone's seen that video. If anyone's seen that video, Max is seven. And he was four when we made it. Look, his name is Niblet. He is a Niblet. Look at his tender little face. Uh -huh. okay. This Bye. is what Max had to have from Home Depot this year. He's just the mini, like, Bambi looking. He's Bambi, so he's a baby, but he has antlers. Yeah, he's like, go spots. figure. I mean, he's just he's just like that, you know? He's, he's very quiet and silent. Uh-huh. And he floats. He's, these little tinsel <laughs> decorations are awesome. Yeah, I like Your elves came. Oh, did your, <gasps> did your elf on the shelf show up? Oh my heck, you better start being good. Because they always watch and ask Max. They're always... Our elf on the shelf is very mischievous. With his little, the babies. I don't know, there's, there's some videos with those two too. And they are wild. They Elfie in the gingerbread house, remember that? Yep. He couldn't get out. You're 11? Nice Sensibly. Sensibly. Mm hmm. Well, we're about to lose the sun and it's about to get freezing cold. Oh, yeah. Then they can see the light. That's pretty cute. Look at what we got so far. Yeah. This is this is coming along. Oh, yeah, and I've got to bring those over because mm -hmm. I'm going to yeah, and this will be like Halloween. That will be just be our nightmare before Christmas area. Look, here's the Lord of the Flies down there. I don't know uh -huh. if you can see him. <laughs> if you guys know what that is, it's a book. You can read it and a movie. It snowed where you are. We had a little bit of snow, but no real snow. When the real snow comes, uh... You put a little minion over here, too. Dang! Fardman the boy? You got 150... You got... Fardman the boy... Got a 12-foot skeleton for 150 bucks. Dang, what? It's a good find. That's, That's solid. Awesome. Like, if you can do that, take advantage of those That's deals, because... People were selling those things for like thousand dollars on eBay. Yeah, he's played Roblox a couple of times. He's I don't know why he's not like he'll play Minecraft for a while and then he'll just not want to, but he's every he gets more into it as time goes on. And we're probably gonna Probably hopefully next year, early next year, we're gonna try to get start a gaming channel, and we'll just we'll be gaming, probably join in some games with you guys, some whatever. I don't know. Is it on? I don't know how the Roblox works, but on Xbox, his name is just. Um, what is his name on Xbox? Max? Oh, it's um, Circus Max, capital YG for YouTube. Yeah, he has a, we have Xbox here, so Circus Max YT.
Yeah, we've been tr yeah, we got it from you and a couple other people suggested it, but my my son also has a gaming channel and we've been kind of thinking about it. It would be fun to do Minecraft and Roblox a little bit, stuff like that. And scary he wants to do scary. And some scary game, you know, some scary games. Dang, I'm going to go get my sweatshirt. <laughs> In a raided server, nice. You got Mr. Dark for $8. What? Did you, were you able to fix it? He got a broken, I think a, he said a broken Mr. Dark for $8. Off season for anyone looking for um, Halloween animatronics, decoration stuff, off season, like anywhere in January through like June is a good time. MJ Roblox Gaming YT. All right, I'll see if he wants to jump on sometime tonight or tomorrow or this week. Oh, you couldn't fix him? Did you, does he still look cool or is it just like destroyed? I saw the video. Is that where that girl like dropped him and broke his front teeth? <laughs> I don't know what his Roblox name. It's probably just the same as his Xbox um, name. Yeah, we'll 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 definitely get into some gaming. And then his brother um, has a gaming channel, but he does more like Battlefield and Call of Duty and that kind of stuff. And that's kind of what I do too more. We'll do a little bit of that, but we'll do my, a little bit of Minecraft, probably Roblox, and then some scary game walkthrough, stuff like that. So that, that will be fun, right? Anybody go brave the crowds for anything Black Friday or anything like that? Any pick up any cheap stuff this weekend? Ten inflatables, nice. Good job, CEC. That's a good start right there, huh? Santa still turned around like <laughs> kind of the wrong way. Seven, nice. Put put on four. Well, it's best not to do always the same anyway. So even if you have five or four or two, you mix them up, it's cool. Yeah, we're gonna try to start a gaming channel next year. We gotta get kind of, before we can do anything like that, we need to kind of get through this season first. We've got a lot of, we're pretty busy this time of year. Ten boxes, a foot, nice. Did you get one, or did your family get one, or anything like that? They're cool. The eight foot nutcracker guy right there, I really like him. I'm glad we got him. Oh, you hit up Home Depot, nice. We didn't make it to any stores. I've just done some online shopping myself. Julie managed to grab some inflatables and stuff like that but maybe some animatronics yeah though that fabric and stuff it weathers you know it's like anything else in the sun stuff will weather over the years ninety months what's that let's see mm. Eight years, eight years old in a couple months. Huh. 
Hello, Spirit 2.0. How are you doing today, tonight, wherever you're at? It's been a minute. We, I don't think we've done a, a real good live or have even done a live since Halloween. Halloween was a lot of fun. Oh, his kaleidoscope bulb. Gee, I wonder if you can repair. I'm sure you could fix that. Because I feel like those are just the kaleidoscope lights. Now, whether it's worth it or not to try to repair it, it's on, on you. But Some of these inflatables are easy to repair, but it's like it costs too much money to repair it. <laughs> Like it's cheaper to buy a new one sometimes because it's crazy because the the fans are so expensive they're as expensive as the whole inflatable on most of these especially on the little ones those fans are will cost as much as a whole new thing so in that case usually that's it see you later spirits thanks for stopping by if it's like dark enough it's probably dark enough now i can see his eyes and stuff the sun was in it before but now the sun's gone <laughs> Ooh. can't really see it yet huh barely see it Oh, you used to have a little bunch, see, you see? Your mom's watching Coco Melon. I saw that. <laughs> Max has watched that a few times. It's pretty cute. Oh, oh yeah, Halloween's great. That's my favorite and Christmas is right behind it. But we like the spooky stuff. We do a lot of spooky stuff in the off season, like the skits type stuff, little vi videos like that. Oh, you should get that Nutcracker. He's cool. I think it's worth it. I mean, I know he's expensive, like maybe $250. Pretty spendy, right? But it plays a lot of songs and it's it looks really cool. I mean, I, we're debating whether we're going to display them outside or not. I don't know. We'll see. All right. See ya. See ya, crazy. Hello, Kim. Nice to have you back. Yeah, I would, I would recommend him for a, a really fun, like, Christmas prop this year. <laughs> yeah it was super easy to put together and he's like pretty heavy but there's nowhere to stake him down unless you want to stake the base there's not really anywhere to like tie him down which is whatever if you live somewhere where the weather's good then that's cool but we get wind out here it's so bad sometimes like it's it will get like let me turn this down just a hair they have really good speakers too anyone who's seen these they get really loud yeah we get wind out here that's really bad and i'm worried if we put him outside that would hit and i don't know how durable he is Yeah, the box had to have been at least more than 50 pounds, I would say. Around there, at least. Oh, good job. Is it one of your Roblox videos? Yeah. 
Yeah, we never had any slashed. I mean, fortunately, knock on wood, right? <laughs> Hello, Aaron. How you doing? But if we, we may someday, I'm sure someone will be mad at us or just be jerks for some reason. So we'll see. Uh, we only have one Grinch inflatable right now. And we need to unbox him still. It's just the little one. Hi, PG Gamer. How you doing? Someone egged your house, jeez. <laughs> People still do that? I haven't heard about that since I was young. That's not cool. I think we have a, a Christmas Mickey, yeah, somewhere downstairs. We haven't got all of them out yet. This isn't really our final. Oh, flood, oh yeah, those floodlights get so hot. They can burn your skin even. That sucks. You can kind of patch them. It kind of just depends. And that again is on you, whether or not you want to go through all that. You can stitch them up and patch them. But it's a lot of work. Our nom nom pingu. Yep, that's the one with the penguin in the party. Was that you? Oh, Jose Muniz. Muniz. 1,002, sorry if I said that wrong. Didn't mean to. Hi, 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 PG Gamer. Look, the boys are back. Causing more mischief. They're mischief makers. Oh yeah, that's true. With a burn, it's probably a lot different than a cut. Cause it will just keep tearing. But at least they didn't burn, like, the whole house down or something, right? Like, better to lose an inflatable than a lot more stuff, I suppose. Green gets Santa turned around for customers. Yeah. Yeah, he's seen Rudolph. We'll watch it again. We watch that pretty much every year. The little old school Rudolph show, you mean? Or... Oh, it burnt the grass even. Yeah, that was pretty serious, huh? Dang. Well, I'm glad everything otherwise was okay. That could have been bad. Is he walking these guys, kinda? Just the penguin. Hmm. That little nom nom penguin can go up in front of the snowman. Oh, yep. There's other penguins, it's like they're friends. They are best friends. They all love each other. Mm -hmm. But, um, someone was getting jealous of Snowy last year. <gasps> I think a shivering penguin was. Oh, yeah. dear. He, he was Chili's best friend. Yep. And then Chili uh, became in love with Snowy. I wonder if. So, shivery penguin, Chili penguin started getting a little jealous. I wonder if he had anything to do with his demise. That's a good question. The Waving Chair Santa is actually a Home Depot last year. Mm -hmm. It wasn't really advertised or it shown. Yeah, it was an online only purchase. It's really cool. It's like, um, we kind of talked about it a little while ago. I guess that was hours ago, but he has a metal frame inside of him and everything. Mm -hmm. And his face is like, plastic. like hard plastic. Barbie doll plastic. Yep, and it's like real hair. Well, not real hair, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, human it's hair. It's just human it's hair. Real Santa hair. <laughs> Plucked from the hair of the head of Santa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually a Home Depot. Crazy, huh? That a lot of places like Home Depot and even Lowe's, I believe, they have online only stuff. So it's worth your time just to at least check it once in a while if you're getting stuff. 
I was checking it last night for stuff like that, and I didn't. So yeah, they'll be, it'll be online only, like not displayed in stores. You know, you, you know what I mean, stuff like that. So yeah, and then when we check, there's a couple different sites that Julie will check kind of on a regular basis. Yard inflatables, stuff like that. Like while you're browsing the internet or whatever, you might as well, if you're looking to get stuff. Whether that's Halloween and Christmas, that goes for most holidays like that. A wrench inflatable is still waiting to get unboxed. Yeah, it's right inside. Yeah. It's got to have the right time and place for that one. He's going to go see all the places with us. Oh, yeah. So when we go see people's houses, like next week, we'll, we'll unbox Grinch to go with us. Hey, little spirits. You wanted the floating reapers in the graveyard? Where was that from? Was that a spirit or somewhere else? Jimmy... Oh, the Grinch animatronic. We were thinking about getting that too, but we got that one instead. Jack, where is he at? Jack. But we we were like this close to getting the Grinch. But it would have been okay if we would have got it too. I still hey, vampire. But the Grinch is cool. I would like it. He's like kind of, a, I think he's kind of like the dancing Santa over there. But the Grinch, obviously, and the Grinch music and all that. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Do you guys prefer the live action Grinch movie, the animated Grinch movie, or the cartoon Grinch movie? I guess yeah, the. Like 50, yeah, I guess the original cartoon one was. Not even really a movie. I think it was just like a show. <laughs> like a regular like cartoon. We'll put one of these lights. Santa with the bear. Let's see. That is a Home Depot from... That was the Black Friday special last week. Yeah, Black Friday special Home Depot 2020, I believe. That one right there. Yeah, I know. We kind of went through it a little bit. Like, they, they do a lot of these kind of things. And they change it every year, every couple of years. And that's how you know what year's stuff is. Oh, gee, if anything is always the best. I really like the original cartoon, too. But I kind of like the Jim Carrey live action. I didn't care so much for the newest animated as much. But, yeah. They're all just great because the Grinch is a great character. And Dr. Seuss was a wild man. There's so many. <laughs> Grinch ones I want. There's the 18 foot Grinch. Mm -hmm. There's the, it's like 11 feet tall Grinch with the sack. Or 12 feet with the sack and, and Max. Then I want the one, it's like a chimney or a fireplace. And then it's Grinch upside down. Oh, he head. comes in and yeah, out, right? Then there's the other one where he goes into the rooftop. I want all of them. Um, let's see. The cheerleader snowman we got, where was that from? You got that online, eBay or something? It's originally, oh, yardinflatables.com. She's adorable. That, uh, they have the pre-owned site. Uh -huh. So you go to yardinflatables.com and if there's a little hyperlink that says pre-owned, or yeah, pre-owned inflatables, and you click on that and they have a whole other website just for pre-owned, like they refurbish things. Mm -hmm. They'll like buy, refurbish them and resell them and stuff. They always have used inflatables and they're great prices. We got that 15 foot Christmas train for like half of what? It was like 120 bucks, I think I got it for. 115. That's, which is probably a standard price for something like that. It, well, it was normally like 280. That's great. Cause it's 15 feet and it has three animated. We're asking, um, what was that? Are we planning on getting a shivering polar bear? Oh my gosh, I would love a shivering polar bear. Um, only one of the, we're getting a nom nom, uh, what is that? A, 
What's the nom nom we're getting again? Uh, bear. The nom cupcake nom bear. cupcake bear. I don't know if we're getting any shivering ones this year. Oh, uh, this all they have is the reindeer with the ice cream cone. This year, I wanted to, I wanted to get it. When oh we, yeah, that was pretty cute. Yeah, huh? I think when we return that train, we'll go this week and just exchange it. We'll trade the train in, and we, I want to get that shivering beer. Yeah. I would love. I wanted to get it. Max didn't care about it. Yeah, he wasn't interested. He yeah. was interested in. Like his deers and stuff. He had to have his deers. Yeah, he loves deer. And the nutcracker, like he was focused on those. And we like, so. So there's one item we're missing that we have nothing of. We don't have any gingerbread men. Yeah, I, I, I talked about that earlier. Yeah, I'm like toy soldiers. I said the only other thing we don't really have is we don't have much like the airplane ones, the helicopter ones, the car ones. We don't. Yeah, we don't have anything like different yeah. like that. The the Santa porta potty won't, inflated would be cool. I'm gonna switch your roof. I'm gonna pull a switch your roof. Yeah. I'm gonna move these guys and I'm gonna put the big honker snowman there instead. Cause it's so big, I need I don't want him to block the view of these guys. So I'll, I'm gonna move them all over here and I'm bringing him over. Because I want Santa right here where they can see him. Yeah. <laughs> the Home Depot Christmas animatronic storytelling? No, I haven't. Like, What's up, Detail? Thanks, Spirit. Uh, no, the Home... No, I haven't seen that. Is it like uh, big or is it like a small um, interior plate thing? Hello, JJ. I don't know, she probably could do a handstand, but we're busy doing this right now. Oh, it's three feet tall. So it's like, um, Something you'd put in your house, right? A decoration type thing. Because that would be really cool. Hey, Seth. Yeah, we're going to do those tomorrow. Decorator Grayson. We're going to unbox them tomorrow. And I'm sure Julie will get that video out a day or two after that. See you later, Chili. Well, everything just died. And they're back. <gasps> New Year's Eve. You got big plans for New Year's Eve? It's going to be 2022 in like a month. Can you believe it? Oh, you know what? We tried. We tried, but we missed out by like hours and they were like f sold out like at the Walgreens by us. <sighs> like it was the Walgreens by us. Like we haven't been out to the city to check any other ones, but the night, anything nightmare before Christmas at our Walgreens, if it's there for a day, it will just be gone. Like people are, it sells so fast. So bummer <laughs> missed out but we'll see you never know one of them might pop up for sale somewhere that we can get do I want me to reach that Hey, we're going to have to mute you if you don't chill.
Are you struggling? I put him in timeout. If I'll make you a moderator if it continues. Remember, everybody be friendly and no spamming, because nobody likes the spam. So, yeah, if he keeps it up, I'll make you a moderator, because it's hard sometimes to focus on that. Most of the time, people are pretty good, but every once in a while, someone's spammy. It's annoying. Nobody wants to see that spam, right? It's just lame. Just lame. Man, it's getting chilly. You got the jack that comes out of the chimney? What? Nice. Where'd you pick that up at? What? Wait, what? Jimmy, the root <laughs> and the mouth, his head fell off. <laughs> Is it 25 degrees outside there? Oh, it's probably, geez, 35 here, maybe 40. Max is with Cam partying somewhere inside eating their bananas or whatever. Oh, great, we got a low battery again. So I'm gonna have to plug this in again, so bear with me. Yeah, Nom Nom's getting down. He's getting moved also. The mailbox should be next to him. Oh yeah. 36 degrees in West Virginia? Dang, that's chilly. West Virginia! I think we hit like the mid 40s today. That's all. <laughs> Who lives in West Virginia? Um, Evan. Oh, Evan, I used to live in um, Ohio, pretty close to the border, West Virginia, like southeastern Ohio, like, like Zanesville outside of Columbus. And I remember, I still to this day, I get it in my head all the time, the commercial for West Virginia, like to travel there and have a vacation. It's like, West Virginia, come <laughs> home, <laughs> we're coming home. Something like that. Do they still have that commercial? Because I can't get that dang song out of my head. Even I haven't lived in Ohio for 20 years. No, not that long. Like maybe 14 years or something. But I still hear that dang commercial. So I don't know if they're still running it. But it's a great, great song. Dude, I, great song. I'm jealous of Vampire. He's a 75 in California. That's what I'm talking yeah. about right there. That sounds lovely. On a yep, Nom Nom finally gets some food. The grass is all he's gonna get, but I don't have to do. Oh, no, so We've been streaming for three hours now, people. Yeah. Yes. Impressive. Anyone who's stopped by, well, thank you. Yeah, we'll probably end up, we'll probably be another half an hour out. So anyone who's stopped by, I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thanks again for 
50,000 subs. It wasn't for you guys, you know. You guys help us keep motivated for this. Snopey on a moped, is that from this year? Oh, nice to have you back, crazy. Oh, the one from a few years ago. I know they do Snoopy ones every year, like. Uh, there's some kind of Snoopy. Dang, that's a pretty legit, a 20 foot nutcracker even, nice. Twenty foot nutcracker is legit. Oh, that's big. That's that's a pretty serious um, <laughs> get up there. Yeah, it's it's fun to get get your own Christmas stuff and Halloween stuff is a lot of fun and then you kind of get into collecting it and you kind of it's it gets pretty wild oh snowy is awesome definitely recommend it's been snowing outside and we'll have them going sometimes when it's snowing and she just keeps going and she her movement just blows all the snow off <laughs> oh it's raining Oof. Get snowflake spin and frosty. Let's see. That sounds pretty cool. Where is that at? Where was? Where'd you pick that up? Yeah, we've seen a twenty foot. They even had twenty foot on display this year at uh, uh, at home, but we didn't pick them up because it was the Santa Claus. And we have a lot of Santa Claus. Oh, the Nightmare Before Christmas train. Nice. We got that one. We're going to unbox that one tomorrow. Going back. <laughs> Snowflake Unfrosty on eBay. We'll have to check it out. Julie browses through eBay for inflatables uh, relatively often. Sometimes you can find pretty good deals on there. You have seven? Seven's a pretty good number. Inflatables, that's, 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 that's pretty good. Yeah, I thought I saw it, but I think I, th I thought I saw it at Lowe's. Wait, was it Lowe's? Or, I don't know. We don't even have any Snoopy inflatables. I don't know why. We just never have. You know what I mean? Yeah, we got the huge reindeer. That got voted on our story the most, so we picked up. The reindeer, I think we've got is 15 or 16 feet, and it's animated, so... 21's a lot. <laughs> 21 inflatables is a serious display. <laughs> you alright, Tiny? See you later. Your dad got it at Lowe's. Oh, cool. Your dad knows what's up, right? He just went like this. He hit the hammer like this. No, he fell pretty hard. He tripped He tripped over that box. Yeah, he get... I told him a bunch of times not to run around over here, but... 
Oh. Yeah, that's what the 20 foot. Yeah, Max just took a spill. He went inside. <laughs> He's getting tired. They had the 20 foot uh, Sano. We thought about buying it, but we went with the reindeer instead. Yeah, Max is all right. He's always falling on something. Oh yeah, safety first, right? See, there's Max. He's angry now. <laughs> Thanks, this play's coming along. I mean, it will change before the it's done, but Oh, nice, Sam. <gasps> Mexican food, I'm jealous. I'm so hungry right now. He gets bad when he gets hurt because I think he gets a little bit embarrassed sometimes. This is all that it really is. <laughs> Oh yeah, see that's where we got our 12 foot Santa. And we didn't pick up the reindeer. The, they were the Black Friday ones, right? <laughs> hey Lurking, how you doing? Oh nice, 40 subs, that's great. Sam, the festival collector, everyone go subscribe. Sorry, we're not moving around so much. We're charging, charging the phone at the same time. What's up, Chili? You're back. Nice. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for chatting. I like your guys' comments. You're tired, Cam? You guys have been running so much. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's going crazy. Uh-oh. I don't know how to fix it. Boop. There, there we, we go. go. Sorry, the cord just got pulled. Here, I'll plug it in. Smash that like button. Comment down below, like Smash and subscribe. The like button. You wanted the nom nom pingy? Yeah, I'm. I, I'm thinking I might do a secret giveaway before Christmas. And yeah, we talked about it a little bit earlier. I'll probably pick a random commenter on a video, and between now and Christmas, and send it out. That's how we like to do our giveaways. People that comment a lot or have nice comments or, you know what I mean? It just makes it more fun for everybody and then... I like to have the interactions. I try to answer a lot of comments. We try to answer and chat with you guys as much as we can. Because we appreciate all the comments and stuff too, so... We'll find a nice comment or a fun comment or a, someone who... You know, between now and Christmas, so oh, keep on commenting. We're be giving away a lot of t-shirts. Mm -hmm. Like they can have a choice between circus yeah, and inflatable and one. One. Here, so, you can't see it. There, now we can go. <laughs> we're gonna be giving away a lot of or a lot of t-shirts and stickers and stuff coming up. A lot of that. So yeah, stay tuned. Ha <laughs> ha!
try to include as many people with that kind of stuff as we can. Hello, Constance. How you doing? Oh, Max, you just killed him. <laughs> Animated Ferris. Yeah, I saw that. We never got it. We didn't got it, but that's cool. If anyone got that, that's awesome. That's a animated a Ferris wheel's cool. Anyway, favorite spirit one from what year this year? Mr. Dark was my favorite this year. It's hard to say. Every year they have great stuff. There's even, like, go look on Spirit's website as soon as you can. They have really cool stuff on there right now that wasn't available during Halloween. Just so you know, you can check uh, Spirit. They do have more stuff available than they did during Halloween season. Thanks, Hunts. We love them, too. We have... This is the beginning of our display. It'll change and be done at some point. <laughs> we just wanted to do a live today to kind of chat with you guys. Um, interact, we like to interact with you guys as much as we can. Max is just partying. <laughs> uh, we have like in our basement, um, we have a whole room just for animatronics and then another room just for inflatables. So we just got lucky. We had plenty of storage. Thanks, Spirit. I appreciate that. We just hit 50,000 subs. Thanks to all you guys for your support. Oh, did your Mr. Dark break? Ours didn't break. I mean, I don't know about the longevity. I'm sure it will. In storage, I just put him in the basement and uh, I took his springs off so the springs didn't wear out. A Santa countdown, like a Christmas countdown, Santa. Uh, we'll probably start doing lives a little bit more often between now and Christmas. Um, oh, good job, Sam. Um, yeah, we'll, we like to do lives, especially when we're just out, like, working and setting up inflatables. It's a good way to chat with you guys. You're 11, and Lego is 14. Nice. Thanks for spending your guys' uh, Saturday night with us. Untimely death, two that nice. That's a she's great. And Spirit will probably remake a lot of the best sellers like that at some point. Yeah, that dog is too much. That's our neighbor's dog, and it's just super obnoxious, man. They don't like, they didn't train it very good, and uh, just nonstop barks. We have like a little, as much as we're outside, <laughs> um, you think that dog would like know that we're out here, but doesn't care. Oh, you're going to watch a horror movie. Nice. Yeah, if they don't sell well, they might not come back. But that makes them more collectible. If you do have one, right? Well, a horror movie, you going to see is it a new one? And that dog is like one of those like little tiny dogs too that's like just kind of obnoxious. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's super rare. Anything from like Dollar General and stuff like that, it's usually pretty rare. But it rips. Oh. Oh, the cord rip, that's the worst. That's the worst. Cause well, sometimes when we broke cords like that, they're just not repairable. Like you'd have to buy a whole new like fan and cord and it doesn't work out so well sometimes. Dogs attack you? That's not cool. Um, we do have a Christmas vacation. Uh, we'll see. I don't know if Julie's gonna put it out. But it's one of those live or the realistic print ones where he's getting shocked. Yeah, the Clark one. And he has like the lights all around him. I don't know. I had it, we had it up last year. Julie got it for me. Clark! Hopefully she puts it out. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. You lined Crocs? You an all-wheel drive on those or you just running two-wheel drive on those Crocs? Thanks, Angela. <laughs> I watch that movie, Christmas Vacation, every single year, by the way. <laughs> oh, extra butter, that's the way to go. If you're gonna get popcorn with butter, get the extra butter. And if you go to the movies, get like some of the nacho cheese and you can dip like your popcorn in it. It's good. <laughs> if you like that stuff. What? See, that's cool, man. Uh, I've seen some of those uh, snow globe inflatables. Pretty cool to have one of those. We don't have any. We have a snow globe Halloween one. But it's not like a snow globe. It's like a snow globe shaped, I guess. Five times a year. I would, I probably used to do that at one point in my life, but I've slowed down. Brain freeze snowman, seen that one, that's cool, good job. <laughs> Thanks, Angela. Yeah, no point in having it up in sport right now. Sport mode's a little much <laughs> for just chilling. Sofa skeleton and the Inferno. I, I got the two of the biggest tubs I could and put like a lot of the smaller stuff in it and then the big pieces are just they're all in one corner in my basement. Like in the laundry room, I have a whole corner. That's where they're, where they're at. Yeah, the snow globes with the flying snow are super rare. I haven't seen one in a long time now. Hey, Mason. Oh, I always know how much, almost enough battery to start walking around again. Yeah, you should pick up some inflatables as soon as you can. I mean, they're a lot of fun. Yeah, those shivering one, they tend to break more. There's a lot more going on and electronics and stuff don't really like that movement. Yeah, hopefully not. Like we'll get some. We'll I mean 
We'll be all right. Yeah, Home Depot is selling out on a lot of Christmas stuff this year, too. It's just like Halloween. I'm sitting down right now. The, the phone is, is plugged in because the battery's going low again. Yeah, those 20-footers, you got to definitely got to kind of plan ahead and uh, let the air out and put some, roll them up kind of in a ball and put some weight on it. And that seems to work. The nativity scene inflatable. They had some, I think they had some at our Home Depot, but they were selling out of so much Christmas stuff for, we went there before even Thanksgiving and it was like, man, they sold like half their stuff. The turkey inflatables, <laughs> those are fun. Yeah, the nativity scene. What's up, Toys Cats Halloween Dinosaur Show? How you doing? Glad to have you back. Yeah, hopefully we don't. We it hasn't even really snowed that much. It's it's kind of been weird year because it's the October started out really the weather was bad and then all of a sudden it's like nothing here. Yeah, crazy animatronic inflatable kid. What's up? Shout out, boy. Oh. That's okay. If you want inflatables, you can start out small or you can. It's all good. That's why we like to put out videos like this too, is so people can enjoy, um, you know, enjoy it also. Five boxes? Dang. See you later, crazy. Thanks again. Oh, wow. You lost power and everything. Dang. That's pretty serious. That's that's how you know it's getting pretty bad is if it's knocking out the power. Nom Nom Penguin's awesome. Can you see him just going for it still? Just trying to chomp that fish with all his might. <laughs> oh, I love Mexican food so much. I try to mix it up and have a little bit of every kind of food, but Mexican's definitely some of my favorite. Max, Max, not so much because he doesn't like spicy foods that much, but I get it. They have chili snowman. We got a shivering, what is it, the shivering bear or something? Oh, the kaleidoscope dragon. The dragons are some of my favorites. The Halloween and Christmas dragons are always great. Oh, I'm glad it wasn't too bad. Yeah, I have some friends that live in Georgia and they get like those hurricanes stuff down there too. It's crazy. Dang, three, yeah, that, especially if they get like submerged in 
in water usually that that sucks sorry about that nice just make sure you can get out of your fire escape if you have to you know but that's cool nice inflatable turkey our inflatable turkey that we got this year was really cool Oh, you're going to Mississippi? Cool. That's smart. Like water tower. I mean, wish we we don't really need them, but that's smart, especially if you live in a flood prone place or you've had some accidents. I guess you learn really quick. <laughs> Hi, Abe. No spam, K okay, Abe. She's across the street talking to the neighbor right now. I'm still plugged into the charger, so I can't really move around too much. Here pretty soon, it should have enough power. Buffalo, New York, nice. Never been to New York. My wife's been there a few times. You're good, Abe. Buffalo, New York, you get some pretty gnarly weather there too, don't you? Yeah, the Nutcracker's just going. I'll get up and show you its eyes here in a minute and stuff. Five boxes of the nativity scene. You did, nice. You went to it, like to the city? That's really cool. Oh yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> That's cool though. Oh, on TV? We were like so busy that morning, we didn't catch anything like that, but. That's okay. SpongeBob push pop, nice. Thanks, Angela, that's awesome. I appreciate that. Yeah, we had a, a, a really good Thanksgiving. I actually uh, didn't do it like a traditional Thanksgiving. This year I had ribs. <laughs> we made like ribs and uh, like barbecue stuff and like baked beans and potatoes and stuff like that. Just because we wanted to change it up a little bit. Okay, Bobby, sorry. It's hard to say. Some of these people have different names in their tags, but. You guys have a good Thanksgiving? Everybody eat a lot of food? 
Yeah, we use, I, we've always had turkey here, but like a lot of my extended family, like my parents and my brothers, stuff we, people we'd kind of go see and do ha uh, Thanksgiving with, they were all going to Disneyland to California. So I'm like, well, screw it. We're just going to have a barbecue. <laughs> so we had barbecued ribs and potatoes and baked beans. It was good. Oh, nice. It's fun to do like the big Halloween and Christmas displays and have other people like come and enjoy it. Oh, it's my most favorite inflatable out of all of them. Oh, geez, you're putting me on the spot. Oh, man, huh? Let's see. Hmm. I don't know. Like, I, I, I mean, I honestly, like, there's so many that are, like, I prefer, like, different times. It's hard to say. It's hard to pick a favorite. Oh, yeah, for sure, lurking. That's what it's all about. We like to make other people... So we get a lot of people that drive by and look, you know. We kind of live in a small town, and so it's fun to have something people can do with their families, you know, and drive by and check us out. And Yeah, dude, do what you can do. Oh, they're just getting ready to put it up somewhere. Julie's still talking to the neighbor. Max is running around still. And I'm just by my lonesome. They all left me with the charger. Rude, rude. I should put it up while they're not looking, just wherever I want, right? Yeah, uh, Shivering Snowman's getting repaired. We'll have a video out next week. Oh, his voice box broke on your... Uh, I don't know, like that's tough because that it's probably just broke, unfortunately. I don't know, I don't, I don't know how to repair that. If it's just the speaker, maybe. He's running around with Cam. They've been playing like tag or whatever, chasing each other around for like two hours now, <laughs> for real. Like, <laughs> they have so much energy. Shivering snowman's for sale. Cool. I'd pick one up if you can, if you like that kind of stuff. They're cool. But a lot of them do break pretty quickly, unfortunately. Oh, dang. Did you, you got it from Home Depot, right? Uh, we might have seen your channel, Abe. I can't recall. Sorry. <laughs> Uh-oh. Get it. Get it. It's going to be toasty by now, right? In Home Depot, you might be able to return it. But it's if it's been like a month, I don't know. I think they have a 90-day return. But whether or not you can exchange it for another one is probably not gonna happen unfortunately I don't know if they have any in stock the 14 foot Santa from Walmart we really should 
We're trying not to get any Santas this year because we have so many Santa inflatables. Like, we just have to pick which ones we want to put out. We've been trying to get um, kind of different ones this year. You know. Yeah, Walmart has really affordable, like, big inflatables. Our big frost day, we got it from... It's called Hammocker Schlemmer something. It's a catalog or online. You can look for them. They have like a lot of big inflatables. You drowned your dancing toys. <laughs> hey, Abe. Santa Army. We're going to have, we should just set up all of our Santas. Have like 10 of them. Just Santas in the front yard. That would be cool. Yeah, Walmart have has pretty good air balloons. They're made by Jammy too. Just under a different name. How many inflatables do we have total? Oh, in the a hundred something. I don't know. Oh yeah, decorate it up. That's what I say. Whatever you can afford to do is do it. No, we don't have any inflatables that play music. You can hear that music right now. It's our... Uh... See you later, lurking. Yeah, you can hear... Let's see. I think we got enough charge now. A nutcracker is what's making the music right now. Oh, Army Santa Apocalypse. And we can make them look like they're like moving, like marching. <laughs> that would be cool. It's a good idea. Do it in front of like, the, put a green screen out and make it look like they're like moving. Yep, see, he can see him good now, huh? It's cool. And you can kind of change the blinking of the lights. It's cool. That was a good purchase. Oh, it does? I didn't know it had sound. I wonder what, they're probably sold out now, huh? Yeah, we were thinking about it. At Home Depot, you can get um, Santa Claus outfits for the 12 foot skeletons. And they're only like $50. See, look, still running. They're apparently trying to stab each other now or something. I don't know. Hello, Chase. Yeah, that would be cool. But I don't know. I don't think we'll set him up again this year. That Probably next year we'll think about doing that. Um, the most expensive one we have. Oh, that. Oh, he was a couple. What, two hundred dollars? That are. I think he was a couple hundred dollars or more. Yeah, no problem. That frosty, but like I said before, he's worth it. He's the most worth that I've seen it because he's so well made. Even the tether spots are all that stitching. It's like, this is the most like legit material I've ever seen on any inflatable. It's super strong. So probably worth it compared to like the normal ones where it's just this light, light lighter material. He feels more like a tent, like the same material for a, a tent. Our cheapest inflatables? Well, we have a lot of like the mini ones, you know. We like to collect like the little guys too, but we also like to buy inflatables on sale if we like them. So I am getting so. the Grinch and I am putting it in. Are you? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Oh, run with me! Ah! Run! Oh, yeah. oh. 
the 20 foot nutcracker. I wish we could have got it. I think I'm this year. Um, we got the reindeer. Everyone voted on the us to get the reindeer, the animated big reindeer. So that's what we got. Yeah, when Max gets older, I'm sure he'll want to do that. So sometimes he's like interested, and sometimes he's not as interested. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have a hot cocoa party tonight, people. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's official. I'm getting the Grinch. Because I was just thinking that, that maybe he, it was, he was joking and he wasn't serious and stuff. Yeah. He's serious. I'm getting the freaking Grinch. Put it right in the yard. Yeah. I bet he says we have to keep it. <laughs> so I gotta take it home and I'm gonna take it home now and it's over. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that'd be so funny. One few the Grinch. Yeah, yeah, just one. I'm doing it. We get, it. we get a few customers every night, and then it gets more and more and more, obviously, as, as uh, it gets closer to Christmas or Halloween, for that matter. We can, let's do maybe about, like, five, five, ten more minutes. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably be out of here in five or ten more minutes, so... Thanks, Claire's. Yeah, we have a lot of tattoos, but we like it that no one really judges us for that. We're just normal. Well, no one to our faces anyway. Yeah, that's okay. We've got a baker's dozen. Yeah. <laughs> just to show you, we're very nice people. I promise. <laughs> Maybe you should just put this little castle just like right here like it was last year. Yeah, you can do that. It's hard to tether down but yeah. it was a little awkward wasn't it so anyone who's been around for a while like i can show you now see look at if you look at santa no lights he doesn't have any lighting and i think they were kind of doing that just for the kind of more realistic look so which is fine you just have to put lights on him but we have a lot of spotlights and stuff Oh, she's just moving it around. She's still deciding where she wants it all. I'm telling you, it's going to get moved around a lot before it's done. So, yeah, the Santa's super cool, but no lighting. You have to kind of have uh, more lights for it. Penguin, he's trying to eat the grass again. I'm telling you, he's hungry. He's hungry. No, I haven't seen your channel yet. Been busy doing this. The it's... lights will be turning on. Oh, they just turned. Literally, when I just said that, they just popped mm -hmm. on, dude. I'll turn these deer on so they can see them. Like... It's getting super cold. Mm -hmm. Nutcracker's just going. He looks beautiful. Is that what you had this plug? Oh. That little Nestor's plug, is that what he was for? It's for this? Was that what little Nestor's plug was for? Was for this area? Yeah. So I'll just we'll break, I'll just go unplug that and put it in there. They were saying someone was saying that the saxophone snowman from Lowe's plays music. Really? Dang, that's cool. Thanks, Asher. Oh yeah, he'd be freaked out. What's up, Asher? Just put half of it on. <laughs> Says it plays a saxophone version of 
Jingle Bells. Oh, I bet That's that cool. is very sultry. Mm -hmm. Just all the jazz, huh? Yeah, that's not that thing is like not stable at all. You have to tether it really well. Yeah. It looks cool though. Definitely don't make those doorways for larger adults like me. Like I couldn't walk through it. Or the poor um, Amazon delivery guy. Yeah, he's like, oh my gosh, I'm carrying like ten boxes. <laughs> That inflatable's cool, huh? Like, all the individual guys. little guys are, like, they stick out. I See, they all, like, they're all, like, 3D. This year, I'm going to leave treats for the delivery guys. They deserve it as many times as they show up at our house. Yeah, we will, like I said before uh, a couple times, um, I don't know if you were here, but we'll we'll probably do a, a giveaway before Christmas. Um, but the way we do giveaways is... We pick random comments or nice comments or people that comment often or send us messages, so on and so forth, stuff like that. And it's just a random thing and we don't tell anybody about it. We just send them a message to send their address. Or like you send them an email to email their address. That's how we do it. And we'll do that before Christmas. See a spirit. We'll catch you next time, I'm sure. Yeah, it's you dinner. You guys want some goldfish? Wow. Dinner of champions. You have nom nom? Nice. Wow. Oh, that's good. All right, I think, are we about done? I think, I didn't go, I didn't go make dinner. Yeah, it's I about gotta, dinner time. We got to eat our dinner of goldfish. Yeah, so I think we're probably going to be signing off for tonight, people. Yep, um, I got a bunch of videos to get up for you guys. Um, yeah, it's either I'm going to do that Jack unboxing video tonight or our Lowe's video walkthrough we did mm -hmm. or our Home Depot shopping spree. See what, what do you guys want to see the most? Home Depot shopping spree and unboxing Jack Skellington animatronic or Lowe's video can't decide <laughs> see what the majority says okay yeah just keep keep commenting constance you know that comment on the videos we'll pick someone out randomly and we'll probably be doing some shirts giveaways yeah. same way and Lots of shirts. stuff like that oh, dude. there said i'm um, the eight foot nutcracker did you do that one already that one's out isn't it No, this Nutcracker video. Oh, the video? Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, that's the Home Depot shopping spree. Yeah, that, that's the Home Depot shopping spree so kind we'll of be, one. That video is going to be long because it's going to be the whole Home Depot shopping experience, the shopping spree, and then bring it home and unboxing everything. So that's going to be like a, at least an hour long, I bet. Mm -hmm. It'll take the longest. To do All right, leave video. comments of what you guys would like. Yeah. Yeah, leave us comments and whatever one you guys choose, I would do it. And thanks everyone for stopping by. Thanks again for 50,000 subs. That's amazing. Yeah. You guys thanks are great. San Diego. Yeah, and thanks yeah. for watching because the reason that we have all this stuff is you guys. We would not have be able to get all this if it wasn't for you guys. So. Yeah, we appreciate all we of you guys. We love you guys. You're like our... You're like our bestest friends. <laughs> I don't know how to stop. I'm like, this. I don't know where to look. Do I look at the camera? Or do I look at the thing? I don't know. How to oh, okay. All right, guysies, guysies. One more time. Let's do a a a a a selfie cam. Come. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, San Diego. We love you guys. We're gonna every time we're out here doing our display, we'll do a live stream. So we'll be doing a lot of live streams, just like Halloween. We love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks for stopping by. Tons of videos coming your way. Signing off. <laughs>